that's a really good example of what I hear when I uh, when I uh, go to bed, guys. So that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> now, uh, Monty, where can they? Well, welcome to the Unexpectables, everybody. Uh, uh, we 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 have our DM extraordinaire here, Monty Glue. Monty, where can they find Hi. you? What's going on tomorrow? Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Unexpectables. Um, mm. For those of you who are not aware, which I, hopefully is not a lot of you, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Um, tomorrow is going to be my 12-hour fundraising stream for the PG Animal and Equine Rescue. We did it last year. We raised $3,500. This year, the goal is to do $5,000, uh, because that's about all I can initially pay off for the, for the, uh, for the donation. Uh, but any money that is donated will end up in their, in their hands. Um, tomorrow for 12 hours, we have a whole bunch of things on the docket. The first thing is we're going to be playing the Stanley Parable, which should be good. We also are going to be doing uh, Helga and Skyrim, which should also be pretty good. Um, then after that, we'll probably be Portal 2 with Bosco uh, as we traverse science. Uh, and then after that, we're hoping to cap off the night with Gang Beasts and Stick Fight. Uh, Gaijin Gubo wants a rematch. Hell yeah. And I'm going to kick his ass. So, you know. <laughs> You're funny. Yeah. Um, there's also going to be incentives. Uh, with with like it's it's gonna be planned out but i have some fun things planned if donations get pretty high um i have a bunch of hot peppers that i've purchased because wasabi peas are not going to cut it this year no uh oh. oh i also bought a monster energy drink so that's another incentive i will drink part of a monster energy drink not the which, whole thing not the whole thing i i would die <laughs> that's why I, I would die yeah, I, I will drink some of it, and it does not take much for it to take effect. I also bought a 20 cents raunchy novel from the thrift shop. So, um, oh my I, god, yeah. So, whenever we get certain amounts of donations, I will read a page from this, this book. I'll try and find the raunchiest part, and I will read it out loud to the extent of as I can until Twitch decides it wants to ban me because uh -huh. I, you know, I want to keep my job. So <laughs> Keep you guys' eyes on that. We're starting at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and we'll be going till 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The reason I don't do 24 hours is because I want to live. Mm. Um, so I'll talk about stuff. I do have some videos. I want to see if I can try and get those on the computer and show you guys where the money is going to. Um, but, yeah, I'll catch you guys there. And then beyond that, uh, streams might be a little bit all over the place for the next little bit just because um, I'm doing some stuff with my family, so it's just going to be a little busy. But Why? What are you guys hey. doing? Can I come? No, we're going down. <laughs> we're, we're driving south to pick up all the stuff that was left at the house I used to live at. Oh. My granny so cart's there. I need my... I, so old as nah. Uh, uh, my, granny oh my, cart, my granny cart was there, so I need to get my granny cart back. You could just steal an old lady's. I mean, like... No! Why? Well, you'd be bad, but you could do it. All right, no, moving I... on. Uh, guys in Gim Gams, what's up? Uh -huh. uh, my attitude and enjoyment of life, actually. Yeah, well, oh. you, you got like a minute and a half, so like, I hope you can like... <laughs> Hey everyone, Gaijin Goomba here. I want to say a very special thank you to everyone that came to the first ever Cult Shock Livewire. It did really well. Uh, and I surprisingly took up the entire two hour period, which I didn't think I would. But uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Had a lot of good financial support, a lot of personal support. Um, I'd love to do it again. I don't know what I would do it on, but I have some ideas. Uh, I'd like to make that an every Saturday kind of thing. Uh, otherwise, I'm looking for new games to play. Zito, uh, I have to pull you over at some point to see if you want to co-stream that one game that you will not shut up about because it is good. Uh, oh, and I, I, yeah, and I've got a couple yeah. other things. I got a couple other things too in the works at the moment. I might even be playing Gasp Persona Five. We'll just see. <gasps> oh my god! That's the game where Kirby gets gun from. Exactly. <laughs> Kirby's got a gun. Bang, 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 bang. Pink Kirby's got a gun. Okay. And Distortion Dibaloo, where can they find you, Lou? They can find me at, uh, on Twitter at Senile Snake, and they can find me on Twitch at Distortion Double, where <clears throat> the rest of my week will consist of Friday Funhouse and the Witcher 3 stream. Hmm. Badass. How'd your yeah. pay-per-view go, by the way? Uh, Power Word Slam was awesome. That's good. Uh, Denier Highwind is the new Action Search champion. And a, a half-orc we might all know and love, uh, Adelaide, is now the Eldritch Blast hey. women's champion. Aww. 
Awesome. Aw. Dope. Uh, Zito. I point at you. Oh, hi. I point at you. Uh, okay, okay. Hi, I'm, I'm here now. So, hello. <laughs> me, it is I am. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Zito. Uh, whenever Nintendo decides to let me into the fun 3.0 club, I will actually play some Joker matches online with folks. Uh, tabs, I'm going to hold off on doing on my own personal stream because uh, I want that to be special. And also, I don't want to test you uh, Twitch's limit to how many times I can get away with playing Lord of the Rings music while it, while that happens. <laughs> so, so good, though. It is it is absolutely amazing, and that's why I want to like hold that off to be like maybe a monthly thing because as updates go by, I, I'm absolutely I, vod be damned. Lord of the Rings music will be had. Oh, can't you just get like the kazoo version or something? I've been looking for that. Yeah, I've been looking for alternatives. <laughs> uh, apart from that, uh, Katana Zero is actually going to be coming out this week. So oh, yeah, that's, that's right! I gotta one. stream that. Oh, yeah, what dude. day? That looks what day? So Friday. Good. Friday. Oh, I gotta do that Saturday. Yeah, I gotta make note. Katana Zero. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'll be playing that on Friday. I've been playing Pathways, which is FTL meets Indiana Jones. So if you like that, Whoa, we'll be... Oh, that actually sounds really rad. It is really rad. Uh, there is one little problem with it, is that I heard that in late game, like, the events and the maps get a little repetitive, but if you can get past that, the game is phenomenal. Hmm. Uh, and who knows, maybe they'll update that. Some Risk of Rain might happen. I'm, And also, I might also be, sometime this week, I want to get back into drawing art for the sake of drawing art, so adoptables might be a thing. You want a yeah. kobold? Want me to draw it for you? Hell, I'll, I'll put them up on auction. We'll get that shit going. Hey, Don't hey, know Zito. when that'll happen, but maybe over the weekend. Yes. Hey, Zito, not to put you on the spot, you ever want to do an art trade? Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, that sounds great. I, I kind of, I need to get back into doing commissions, so it might be fun to do something like that. Yeah, for sure. Like, that that's the thing, is like, I see all the artists go like, hey, art trade, art trade, art trade, and I'm just like, <laughs> Initiate with me, and I'll totally do one. It's fine. Yeah, let's 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 do it, man. Let's do it. Can Fuck I, yeah. Can, 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 can I can I join in? Oh hell yeah, Joe Cat. High five. Yes. <laughs> Are we gonna get to him last here? Joe Cat, where can I find you? Hi, you can find me at uh, youtubecom slash Cat, twitch.tv slash Cat, Twitter at Cat 105 I'm working on the next crap guide. It's coming. I promise. It's yeah. just midterms, and also I'm on a, gonna be school on a school comes trip. First. Yeah, school gonna, comes first. Yeah, school absolutely comes first. So fuck you. No, I'm just. Uh, so I'm next rapping. episode is Warlock. It's coming mm. whenever. And also a video essay about Pokemon design is also coming. Uh, oh. That is t gonna take a little bit longer because I am a madman and I my past self hates my future self and uh, decided <laughs> to make it like partly animated. So that's a that's gonna be a thing that happens. I, I, I can't wait for the Warlock one because I was actually thinking about Lyric recently. And I'm like, oh. I miss Lyric. I miss Redwood so much. Yeah, me too. Uh, by the way, uh, I, I actually got that wrong. Katana Zero comes out tomorrow. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> like in the morning or like late at night or? Probably like midnight tonight. Oh, I'm playing that tomorrow. I'm shooting. Fuck it. I'm streaming it tomorrow. Hi, Thank it's God, me. Thank God it's not on Smash Brothers time. Hi, hi, it's me. You can find me here, and uh, MNW continues on. The uh, Dagrick is being sent to jail. There, there's much heresy to be found afoot. I gotta skip. I gotta go really quick here because we got a lot of subs. I don't think we're gonna be able to get to everybody here, so uh, I'm not gonna be able to read the sub messages. Arter Baron, Ink Spin, Crazy Tail Thirty, Tala Rose Song, Bizarre Coyote, Gino Kaze, Blackfoot Ferret, Spooky Beef Seven, E Pam, Jewelry Jelly, Very Derpy Pancake. Thank you so much. For all the subs, probate with a thousand bits. What's the incentive for you to DM me the fate of tubs? Probate. Julie, with 500 bits. Thank you so much. Here's the bits we're supposed to drop during my message. Jedi Jake 94 with 2,800 bits. What's up? How you guys doing? We're doing okay, dude. Thank you so much, Jedi Jake, for the 2,800 bits. Oh my God. Black and Okami, Dazzable123. Thank you so much for the sub. Shiny Lamp, thank you for the 300 bits. Bernard Vaughn, thank you for the 100 bits. Glad to hear your surgery is doing okay. Uh, here, Chip, thank you for the 200 bits. Spirit of Love with 20,000 bits. Jeez. All hail the ah. new bit boss, Spirit of Love. I think many of us are happy to be part of this amazing and welcoming community. This is what got me into D&D, &D, and, I, and, I and it let me meet some amazing people. Hope all y'all keep being awesome. Thank you for the 20,000 bits, Spirit of Love, and I hope you're having a good day, too. Shout out 21551. 
with a thank you for the sub. Crazy ask a push. Kemp for 97, thank you so much. Nintendo Might for the 300 bits, thank you so much. What Shane does, thank you for the bits. 321 Jimmy, thank you for the bits. Blackpot Ferret with over 9,000 bits. Insert witty, insightful dialogue here. Oh, I'm gonna write that down. Oh, that's good. 9,001 bits from Blackfoot Ferret. Thank you so much, Blackfoot Ferret, for always making us feel the hype. Cosmic Jane, Blue Clock, Cheer Shower Joker. <gasps> He's got a gun. Big Evil 103, thank you so much for the subs. Protoss 103 for the bits. Probate with another 1,000 bits. Petition to refer to werewolves as were a -woos from now on. 1,000 bits. <laughs> oh, shit. That's Jeez. not bad. Werewolves. Salty Ninja. Galaxy brain mentality. Salty Ninja 3793 with 500 bits. Yeah, first bits. Love your streams. Now listen to you guys kill werewolves while I wait for that j sweet, sweet Joker update. Uh, Dax, Daxi99, Sermolex, Sam, damn, go jam. Thank you for the subs. Renfield88 with 1,000 bits. Bits to buy and more silver stabbies for the bad wolves. Let's, thank you so much. Lazumi01, the robot, 100 bits. Thank you so much, dude. Viral Tech, uh, the great ghost. Thank you for the sub. Viral Tech with a 1,500 bits. Unexpected are Joker vs. Smash. Don't make me choose, dang it. Here, choose us, because we're not lagging. Thank you for the 1,500 bits. That oh! scruffy guy. I know, right? It's not even a big burn. It just is. That scruffy guy. Thank you for the for the, for the raid. Blitzking01. Thank you for the 500 bits. They're werewolves, not swearwolves. Good reference. Lanny Vitor, ready with a party of 107. Thank you so much. Boo Radley, Marcus Atera, Ash and Bones. Thank you so much for the subs. Uh, for, the, for the bits, sorry. Queen LD1 with a 9 month reason. Thank you so much. Iggy Hidokage. Thank you so much for the sub. Random Idiot, thank you for the Prime sub. Tebo Chunk with the 500 bits. Looking forward to how, how the team will, will Dark Souls roll themselves out of this predicament. Always. Oh, Did I get those invincibility frames? Random Man with a 5. Subs gifted to the community. Thank you so much. Dynamite! 36 for a three month resub. Yun Z with 100 bits. Thank you so much. Shmoogio with a 14 month resub. Yee! Woo! 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 Need a few more? Need another minute or two, Monty? No, I'm good to start. Lovely. Lovely. So, again, thank you all so much for the very kind donations here. Uh, yeah, let's let's get, get, get in, while the getting's good. Everyone's here? Yes. Joe Cat, you're here? I am here. Good. All right. I'm pulling up my metal dice for today, by the no! way. No! <laughs> are they silvered? Yep, they are. Ooh, thematic. Are they silver mm -hmm. dice? I just asked uh, that. Purple. Purple and silver. All righty. <sighs> when last we left our heroes, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Task the Cobalt Ranger, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Panic the Tiefling Bard, and a new companion in Victor, Rat, the Half-Elf, the party left the safe and known lands of Alavast and traveled to the country of Tricadia in the western town of Barcelet. After saving their newfound friend Victor from being accosted by some ruffians, the party followed some leads and rented a carriage to take them to the northern, northeastern village of Brindleshire to chase their quarry, an elusive man named Pilchard who wears iron and steel armor. Taking Rat along with them, the party was robbed by ravens and spooked by a hag but eventually made their way into a narrow alley of trees. The sounds of howls and snarling followed them, and soon the party was cornered by the savage beasts. And now as the predator descends upon them, we return to the unexpectables. I need everybody to roll initiative for me. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Hooray. Oh, boy. Hey, it's 17. That's pretty good. I gotta move my fan real quick. Yikes. I got 23. 14. 22. 19. All right. Wow. This Pretty is... good, guys. Yeah. This is, the first, this is the first time in a good long while that my initiative has actually been above 10. Well, to be, to be fair, we were all rolling like shit last week, so. Yeah. <laughs> this actually works very well for what I have planned. Yes, um, good. Now, keep in mind, Greckles, Borky, and Panic, you are inside of the carriage at the moment. Yep. Any attacks made from inside the carriage will be with disadvantage. We do know what's going on, and we can't. Can we you see? Can hear, outside you can hear sounds. Yeah, can we, you can, can see, see out the sides. You can't see forwards. So you don't okay. see the werewolf ahead right. of them. That's all I need is to be able to see at least. You just you see tiny little arms with with stabby sticks. Just. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Tass. Oh boy, them purples. Um, is this a is, silly question? Is this a chase or are we like, we can't leave? No. We stopped. Yeah, we stopped. stopped. Yeah. Uh, I went to stealth and of course the werewolves got a nat 20. <laughs> there's no such thing. No sorry. Such thing. I did what the DM wanted, but the dice said go fuck yourself. Okay, and that's the 
roll for the werewolves, and I have to grab their stats. And I forgot to pull out all my tabs from the mercenary one off. Whoopsie. Rut row. Rut row and uh -oh. beans. Uh oh. Oh, beans. Not beans. Well, I got beans. I wish I could voice act. <laughs> Same. I'll shed my final form. <laughs> Only well, use it to you're gonna make me use like 50% of my power, man. <laughs> yeah. We're already. Oh, okay. That's so bad to me. Uh, panic. What are you gonna do? You're inside uh, the carriage. Okay. And just for clarification, one more time, I can see, correct? You can see trees. You don't see the werewolf in front of you. There's no front window. It's where the jockey seat is. You can go outside. So I can. Can I, like, crawl through so I can peek out? To, into the jockey seat, like see what they're seeing. Mm, there's windows, like they're like maybe like you could fit your arm out, but you couldn't fit your head through them. They're very small. I meant, I meant like. So this is this is more like a. I'm, the I'm front, to... the front part of the carriage has no windows. It is just wood and the jockey seat, so you can't oh. stare out through the front. Oh, and... so it's not like one of those uh, organ trail things where I can just. No, pull, pull back it is. This is like this is like a Victorian carriage. It is solid wood. The windows are very small. It is made to be a solid, safe structure. You've played uh, uh, Darkest Dungeon, yeah? At the very intro, ruin has come to our family. <laughs> At carriage. Okay. So I can't see the werewolf, but I know he's there. You hear sounds up ahead, yes. <laughs> this is where you poke your head out. What's taking so... Uh-oh. <laughs> you can't, he can't fit his head outside. You guys can't fit your head through these oh, windows. It's too, they're too small. Gotta leave. The, wi the windows on the... On the... On the carriage are really small. Oh, Fuck, okay. this completely, <laughs> this completely fucks up what I was going to do. All right, fine. Um, I'll. Can I use a free action to shout to Task? Uh, yes, you may. Task, what's going on? It, it seems as though there may be some wild dogs. <laughs> can I respond? Yeah, I'll let you respond. Get the fuck out here! <laughs> I will do what he says and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay, you grab the door right. of the carriage, you pull down the lock, and <laughs> something has barred you inside of it. Ah, beans. What? You are That's trapped inside of the carriage. Remember, oh. something something moved on the outside when you guys That's stopped. Right, it bumped into yeah. the carriage. They locked us in. Mm. All right. Um. <sighs> okay. You know. You're being very bad dogs. So I want to introduce you, introduce you to a very good dog. And I am going to cast Major Image to make okay. the illusion of a 20-foot hellhound. Whoa. Okay. Where do you want to put your hellhound? Um, it is... Uh, as long as I am within range of the illusion, da, 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 it appears in a spot that I can see and lasts for the duration. Uh, I'm just going to assume that the werewolf is in front of them because they stopped. Okay. So I will... What what range of vision do I have from this? Like over here? You could see right there, yeah. We can plop it down there. All right. So I'm going to have it come out of the forest. Just okay. toom, toom. And this thing does emit heat and it does make sound. Okay. <laughs> it is very convincing. Now, does anyone else know what that is in the group? Your task and... <laughs> Our task and Rat, rocket, I know what that is. Rat and Tass, <laughs> you guys see a giant hellhound barrel out from the woods. <laughs> I mean, I did. Smoldering and spicy. I did we'll just right say, back. I did just say, let me introduce you to a good boy and then summon the dog. <laughs> yeah. I will say with this, you guys can make uh, investigation checks uh, oh, against yeah. against panic spell save DC to see whether or not this is panics. And then the werewolves are going to gain advantage on this because they... Can we all roll on that? No, you, the rest <laughs> of you guys in the carriage don't see this. Only so this is with advantage, you said? With advantage, yes. 19. Because you Twelve. travel with panic. That is a fucking giant dog that just came <laughs> barreling out of this. <laughs> I do the I do the Spider-Man Civil War. Holy shit! Oh, Tash just sits there with the Saitama face. Okay. <laughs> the, uh, the werewolf in front of you guys just turns and looks to it and kind of turns like with the brow raised and kind of stares back at the two of you. And you hear him in a snarling voice go, I'm not fooled, you're no vampires. Hmm. I mean, he's right. Uh, does that end your turn there, Panic? 
Might as well use a bonus action to activate Mantle of Inspiration. Okay. Oh. Where the heck uh, 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 going to expend. I'm going to expend a use of my Bardic Inspiration to give all of you in the cart. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Everybody in the cart besides myself. Uh. Eight temporary hit points. Awesome. And you can use your reactions to move up to your speed. Ooh. Whoa. Can we use that to check the doors, Monty? It takes an action to break out of the doors. No, no, not to break out, but to like to to like check to see if they're all locked. Uh, that was. I don't know. It. I'd say a movement. Yeah, you guys check the doors. There's two doors on either side. They're both held shut. Okay. So. Yeah, but you would take an action to try and open right. them by force. Yeah, but you gain temporary hit points, so that's hey. good. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that rat and tasks don't want to get off. <laughs> uh, rat, it is now your turn. Okay. Uh, seeing this big fuck off wolf creature, uh, I'm gonna turn to the back of the carriage. Is there anything on the door? Uh, as you look at the carriage, there is a piece of chain uh, tying the door handle tightly to the wheel. And Ooh. as you turn and look, you do see this. Oh, <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh my god. And you see another werewolf turn, and it's just like, it's like pulled the chain against the door, which is now seized shut, and just whips its tur like its head and just gives you like this giant grimacing grin. You see slobber dripping down the side of the mouth, wetting the fur. Okay. Uh, 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 uh shit, man. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, gee, oh, oh man. Oh, gee, oh, oh, man. Well, oh, uh, beats. I, uh, I relay this to task and say, we might have a little bit more company. And... Uh, I will cast Fairy Fire right there. Okay. And, uh, to the Whoop. left of the, so just for the people on the podcast. To the north, the north of the carriage. So on the left side of the carriage, there are two werewolves and you just, he, uh, it's a dexterity saving throw, correct? Yep, yep. Yeah. Um, DC 14. Okay, so this is dexterity for a werewolf. It's not actually that bad. No, no I wouldn't imagine so. That is 19 for the one nearest to the door. And... Fucking A. Oh, wait, no. That's, I thought that was a different number. That's 12 for the other one. Okay. So I got one. So this one's fairy fired now. It just, it becomes a sparkle wolf. It's just like, foof, bright neon, like, orange, and, like, is twinkling in the, in the faint moonlight. All right. Okay. Yeah, uh, that'll be my turn. Okay. Uh, task is now your turn. Good thing you guys got your round first. Yep. <laughs> All right, well, I'm casting Zephyr Strike on myself as a bonus action. Okay. You feel the winds whip around you, the parts of your closing kind of lifting up for the, the movement of the breezes. You feel faster. All right. Uh, so that was a bonus action. I'm going to take fucking pot shots at the dudes who are holding the chains. All right. One. Um, so correct me. Uh, this dude here right next to here is the one holding the chain or is it the one in the back? Oh, he, he was just, like, finishing up tying it off, and now he's lifted up his hands. You do see that. Okay, well, fuck this guy right here in the front. Taking two shots at him. Alrighty. And one of these get advantage. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. I'm assuming Silver Arrow? Oh, yes. Hell yeah. Okay, good. Oh, my, yes. 23. 23. That'll hit. So seven plus eight because of uh, the what? It's a one d eight. So yeah, zephyr stri strike with another two. It's nine. So that's and nine points. another short bow hit. With a That'll 20, hit also. Twenty seven to hit. Silver arrow once again. Ten piercing. Ten. And then you have Colossus Slayer because he just took damage from you. So. Yep. So let me get that Colossus Slayer. Two Jeez. solid hits. Two solid hits. That's the thing with our group there, uh, Joe Cat. We are just DPS machines. <laughs> I, uh... And no utility! Except for panic. Alright, yeah. well, I'll I will have to have advantage against them, apparently. What the fuck is going on? What happened to the... Hold on. Whoa! It... Yeah, it's... 
nothing. That's creepy. Yeah, that that's weird. Is it a D uh, it's a ghost. It's, it's a D. Can you want me to roll the D eight? No, I, no, no, no. I got it. It's a D eight. Yes, but it was it was trying to just double check. Ah, oh, oh, balls. All right. Means that's a well, one. Well, it's I 20, have twenty points of damage. Though it's nothing to sneeze at. As you get yeah. two solid hits into this werewolf, both strikes hitting true. The Zephyr strike almost knocks him back, and he like anime slides backwards on his hind legs almost pushed through the dirt and he just snarls and looks down at you and just lets out this roar of anger. I, I pat uh, I pat right on the shoulder. You might want to get off the cart. And I have an extra 30 <laughs> so I can move 60 feet away from the cart. Um, As I jump off and run across, I scream on the inside, break the doors down! Break the doors <laughs> down! <laughs> uh, which direction I, are you going to task? Which I'm, direction are you I'm moving off the, I'm moving off this, off the uh, cart and I'm moving to the back of it. So you're running over the All cart, right. essentially, and down it? He's yep, running, I'm running, running over the cart. You guys above you hear poof, 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 footsteps, and then you hear a, a sound of launching as Task lands and slides on the ground. As you're running and you look back to the carriage, you see another werewolf on the other door. Red has stars. Oh, sorry. And I didn't see either of these when I looked out the window? <laughs> no, they're they're hiding. They're trying not to be noticed. Man, Zephyr Strike's great. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Brett has stars in his eyes, by the way. Like, just seeing you, just without hesitation, Tass just like, phew, phew, and just run across. It's like, that was, that was so cool. Get the fuck out of there! <laughs> All right, it is now the werewolf's turn. No! So, there was another one hiding in the woods also. And you they're bastard. Gonna move first. They're going to move first. This one runs over and is going to attack the horse, actually. Oh, oh no. no, we need those. Oh, no, horse. No, not lunch. <laughs> yeah, lunch and dinner might become their their monikers. <laughs> uh, that is absolutely going to hit. Oh, oh, no. Oh. I think they get spooked and run. Oh, that would be bad. Oh, yeah, there's still a lot of people in this. <laughs> yeah, and Task is on his own. <laughs> I use a ranger. He'll be fine. Oh, see you in hell. All right, well, thanks for letting me on the Unexpectables, guys. I'll see you never. <laughs> oh, my God. Horse is fucking dead. That's, like, Whoa. max Rip bite port. damage. All right. That beans. And you know max... how much money they just cost us? Yes, I'm aware. He got an 8 on his D8 and a 6 on his D6. So that's a dead fucking horse. Oh, no, he's going to be a werehort now. <laughs> you watch as a uh, rat, as you're just looking at Task, you turn over, and this werewolf just launches out of a bush wraps its arms around the horse, bites into the horse's neck, and you just watch it sever tendons as it kind of trails up the skin as it's ripping out cords of flesh. The horse whinnies and tries to gallop, but is tangled up in all the the, uh, the reins that Task has dropped, and it just falls over to the ground unconscious. Oh, uh, Rat is speechless, taken aback, and just just staring this this werewolf in shock. Okay. The one in front of you guys, with his knowledge about hellhounds, is going to go for the other horse. Oh my god. Listen, as long as it's not us for right now. No, but the horses. Oh. Man, man, meat shields, my dude. <laughs> oh my shields. Did you? That misses. The horse is badly injured as the other werewolf charges and just bites the horse's side of its face. And the horse like whinnies and tries to kick up, and you you almost feel like the horse is gonna fall on you, rat. It is looking really hurt. Oh, no. um, the werewolf on the side, seeing and smelling you, is going to run over and is going to attempt to attack you. Oh man, my ace is not great, guys. <laughs> okay. Twelve. He's gonna first go for a bite. Uh, that is going to be a eighteen to hit you. Yep. Okay. Boy, does it. Uh, that is going to be six points of piercing damage, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw for me. Do, 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 do. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You begin to feel unwell the moment the, the fangs release from your shoulders. You throw back, you see them throbbing, and you feel strange. Man. Uh, as it rears back, it's going to swing with its arm with its claws. Oh, God. Uh, that is going to be a 10 to hit you. Nope. That I'm is all right. It swings and it smacks your hat off your head, and the head the hat lands on like the side of the ground, and the world just roars. The one that's been fairy fired is not too keen. 
uh, and is going to yell out as it's running, kill the ones on the outside, and then we gut the rest on the inside as it rushes towards you. Oh, God. It's going to go for another bite attack. Okay. That's a natural 20. Oh, oh my God. Oh, well, this was fun, you guys. Oh, my Christ. <laughs> That's 11 points of uh, piercing okay. damage. And yep. it also is going to go for another swing. Uh, that is going to be a 12 to hit you. Uh, that is exactly that my AC. Just hits, okay? AC's so uh, low. Oh, I've been using the wrong dice for claw damage. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I should probably use the right one. I don't you know! That's five points of slashing damage to you. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. All right. They are just barreling down on you. Uh, the one on the side here that saw you run off task is... What's the movement of these guys? Uh, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna double move in front of you. He chases after this this red squeaky toy, barreling and running on all fours. Uh, that will end the werewolf's turn. Greckles, it is now your turn. You oh. are grabbing the handles. You are knocking against this thing. It is you are trapped in here. Can I see anything out the windows? You do not see anything out the windows right now. No. Everything at this point has gone a little bit forward. Panic and Borky, you just slightly see a wolf's ear kind of poke, poking in the window sometimes. Ah! But no clear, clear image. But we can still, like, play spells and stuff, correct? You can, yeah. You would have to break the windows. I'd say bonus action to break the windows. Uh, sure. I'll just do that then. Hey, um, roll, roll a strength check to break the windows. Oh, god damn it. Uh, wait. Yeah, oh strange. god, the safety deposit! <laughs> Oh, that's yeah. 20! Hey. <laughs> you pull out the sun blade and you just, you just, you swing your blade and you break all the windows. You just do one huge flourish around. You don't hit anybody. But with expert striking, you manage to break every single window. I will say with that natural 20, you've broken all the windows for you and your allies inside of this carriage. All nice. this beautiful stained glass just shatters and sprays across the ground as twinkly as your fairy fire. But you are still inside of this confined space, so any attacks made within the carriage is going to be with disadvantage. With that... Uh, Greklos is, is going to throw his hands up and around and shout, MUTO I'm gonna drop a, uh, I'm gonna drop a cloud, obscuring mist. Sweet vape, bro. Right here. Do, do you need to draw it? Yeah, I need to draw it. Here, do you need to I... the color? So, 20 feet there, okay. And then... Where are you, and you're dropping that to the north? On I'm, the dro I'm dropping that to the north at the two werewolves, because I'm sure I'm hearing all this horrible screaming coming from our new oh, game, yeah. correct? Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Oops. Ironically enough, there's a full moon out tonight. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Thanks, I hate it. I, I will say for the sake of this, inside the carriage does not get affected by the obscuring mist. Why is okay. it weird? But, <laughs> Matt, as you are being absolutely destroyed, you cannot see anything as a... <laughs> oh, come oh. on! <laughs> and unfortunately, we'll get to Wait, that. Anyway. Silly, silly, um, silly question. Um, the Bardic Inspiration, that, does that allow you to disengage? He, he used it, a panic used on you guys inside. It yeah. never reached any of us. It was stuck in the box, dude. Oh, it was in the yeah. box? I thought it was everybody. Okay. No, no it was um, everybody. It was everybody? You yeah. said everybody inside the carriage. Which would include all of us? We are but on the outside. They were on the outside. Oh, would space matter? You have to see them, too, I think, for that, don't you? I mean, like, didn't... You... Yeah, Sorry. number of creatures you can see. Yeah, uh, so you okay. Can... Oh, right. I just wanted yeah. to make okay, sure. No. I just wanted Good. to clarify. No, no, that's fine. Um, all right. Okay, so that used bone. Okay, that's, your, so that used... that's an action, I believe. Would I? Would I have? Would I have? Would a strength check be a regular action to bust the that door? Is, that is a regular action. So you used your bonus okay. action to break the glass, gotcha. and your action to cast cast the spell. Yeah. And you cannot move in your position. Okay. Uh, I guess with the last of my action, I'll just say, Borky, break it down. Oh! All right, Borky, it is now your turn. Borky goes into a rage. All right. Borky's claustrophobic. Roll <laughs> a strength. Strength check with advantage due to your age. Borky, okay. Which door? Hold on, before you go, which door are you opening? The one, the, the, the north one. The one. south or the one to the north? The I hear north the noise one? coming okay. from the left side, so I'm like, it's a strength check. Yep. 15? That's just what you need. You just, you go and you ram and you break the chain. Could I, and could I, open could I, fl can I flavor you... it how I kick it open? 
Sure. Borky just kicks it open. Somebody! And Borky <laughs> steps out. And Borky steps out. He can. Uh, can he see the, the wolves' tails? Uh, you can. You can roll to attack with disadvantage because you cannot see them. They are obscured. Now, one of the abilities. I have the wind ability, correct? That is for if you are attacked. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. Um. Okay. Uh, Borky is going to. Yeah, Borky's just gonna. See the kind of tail. Borky's just gonna swing with two of his attacks. Smell okay. him. With both with disadvantage. Thank you very much. Oh, Thirteen. Thirteen will hit. All righty, I'll take it. Hmm. Roll that damage. Mm -hmm. That's fifteen Jeez. plus two. That's seventeen damage. Nice. <sighs> Wait, that, is that? Let me math. Let me, let, me, let me math real fast. Just give me some time here. Do the so. math. Oh, I only have one attack though. Really? Oh, do you? I open. I use an action to open the door. Wait, I have a question. Uh, Wait, wouldn't fairy fire wait, break through? You can't the attack at all. You use the action to attack. You can't attack yeah. at all. Oh. Okay. Attacking um, takes an action, and yeah. raging takes your bonus action. So you don't actions. get to hit. Uh, okay. No, no, no we're we out. Have two actions. We're out. That's that's. I have a You're wait, out, Bonnie. I have a question. Wouldn't mm -hmm. fairy fire break through the obscuring mist? It would. You're right. Oh. It would. You are correct. Oh, I could that hit him with that disadvantage. Jeez. Well, no, you can see that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you can, can see him. You can't hit him though. You don't have another action. An action was to break out of the, the I, um, carriage. I act. I activate uh, a warrior's taunt from World of Warcraft. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Dude, Slash thanks for but, thanks. but you're but you're berserker spec. Yeah. I get. I get. I get. I get savage attacks. I get. I get a bunch of. I get, I get a bunch of crazy shit for that. I get like a frenzied rage and shit. But like. You gotta be. All right. Be prospect. <laughs> all right. Is that? I'm assuming that ends your turn, Kurt. Yeah, yeah, I got no other thing to do. All right. Panic, it is now your turn. You just watch Borky just scream out the door, taking part of, like, the wall of the carriage with him. <laughs> Very impressive. A there is now a Family Guy fall pose of Borky outcropping <laughs> on the wall of the door. <laughs> Panic, Panic walks out of, the, out of the cart, and he's like, ah, oh, shit. Yep. Go again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's going to walk see... out. You see one like werewolf like silhouette just glowing like a disco ball in this obscuring mist. You guys take care of that. I'll help task. Panic, I'll you were supposed to follow bit. the train. <laughs> <laughs> I'll 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 just shout in general. You guys aren't the scariest things that haunt the night. And I'm going to look at this wolf. Right here, that's up in up in Tasks uh, Grill. Tasks business. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll be like, guess who's getting their ass kicked? And I'm gonna activate Dissonant Whispers. Nice. Okay. Level three. Ooh. Ooh. Just get one damage on him, and then I could go fucking ham. Could you click that spell for me? Yep. Hang on. Casting it at level three. Holy shit! <laughs> Jesus. Fuck. Oh. The dice is stuck! <laughs> oh, the, wisdom, the wisdom save is not 11, it is higher. No, it is that. not. What is your save on it again? 15. It's 15 or so? Okay, there's wisdom. Uh, how wise are these wolves? Not. <laughs> wow. Alright. Amtor. Uh, that's a 13. Nope, does not, does not save. All right, and that's. So uh, it must immediately use its reaction to run as far away from me as possible. Okay. And it takes 13 psychic damage on top of that. All right, let me roll for the damage first. That amount, and he's, yeah, the wolf is where wolf's gonna run. Wait, attack of opportunity? You do get attack of opportunity, yeah, as he runs into the tree Silver line. Silver short sword. Go for it. 13. 13, that hits. Mm. Yeah, they're not armored. Yeah. Eight. Eight. Nice. That's good. That, you, you, you swipe at his tail and you just see a splash of blood spray across the ground as he goes running. I just need to do that. So. Oof, yeah, he's, he's hurting. Uh, all right. Does, does, that does, brings... does, that get, does that get Colossus Slayer because it took damage? Yeah. It's, it's on his, his turn. On ah, Task's turn. Okay. It's yeah. his, his attack on his turn. Oh, okay, gets cool, Colossus cool, cool, Slayer. I, I, yeah. It doesn't work on Attack of Opportunity. It has to be when it, I initiate combat. It's... 
Okay. It's the round, so he gets it once per round. So uh -huh. his round, it hasn't come back to his turn yet, so he doesn't have it yet. No worries. All right, that brings us to a rat who's having probably the worst day. <laughs> Absolutely, what a way to start an adventure. Uh, first, I'm going to use my bonus action, because this is a bonus action spell, to fucking cast Healing Word at third level on myself. Okay. Oh my Fuck god. Fuck off! No oh, way! Oh, that's such that's still, bullshit! That's still an eight, eight though. So eight. that's that's still pretty good. Um, you heal as you go to heal yourself, something is stopping the healing, and you're like, what's happening? Like you oh, kinda no. have this Come on. sort of heart palpitations as the blood is cycling through your system. Hmm. Do I still heal for eight? You do. Yeah, you do okay. heal for eight. Right. But the nat the one on that is flavor. Okay, all right, I see. I, I just I just uh kind of touch my chest just like just calm down, Rat. This is just like chapter nine of Leah the Songbird. It's all right. And uh, I'm going to uh, attack the wolf in front of me and uh, use a defensive flourish. Oh, so I expend a bardic inspiration die to add both damage and AC to myself. Nice. All right. So, I go, leave the horse alone! Good job. Roll the hit. 22 will hit. You have right. advantage on this guy. He's yes. still fairy fired. Opa. And Eight. Then, Your bardic inspiration died My for bardic that. inspiration. Boop. So that's ten. Yes. And, and that's I have a non-magical a... weapon, correct? Yes, non-magical. Do I have a... Okay. Yes, I have an extra attack, so I'm going to do it again. All right. But, uh... With Whoop. advantage. 22. Another 22. That'll hit. Hacha! Six. Very nice. And then your AC is increased by two, correct? Yep, yep. Okay. Oh. Good to know. That's good. All right. <laughs> you go to swing, and as one of the wolves kind of gives like a quick like slash towards you, you just kind of like uh, repulse the the attack back, and then kind of stand the top on the roof of the carriage. All right, task. It is now your turn. That werewolf just went running, but it kind of stops, and like its ears perk up, and it turns back to you, almost like, wait, what? Stoop, he looks up, and I don't know if he sees this, but he sees that little upside down arrow on his forehead, Hunter's mark. Hunter's mark. All right. <laughs> you ain't running. Who told you you could leave? Arr. Oh. Oh. No. oh. I don't. This game. Mm. It's a nap you one. go to fire, and as you shoot, a raven flies in front and gets shot by the arrow. Oh my god. <laughs> boom, 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 and lands hey guys, on the ground. <laughs> Fuck you. Do it again. Fourteen will hit. Keep track of your silver arrows, by the way. Oh, I am, I am, I am. Ten? So, nice. Now I get Colossus to roll. Slayer. Colossus Slayer and Hunter's Mark. Yep. All right, Colossus Slayer. Oh! Eight! Nice. That's good. And I believe Hunter's Mark is another... It's, is it a D6? I thought it was higher than that now. It should be higher than that now. It Let should be up. higher. Let me look it up. Hunter's yeah. Mark 5e. Sit down, Mr. President. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you just feal an extra 1d6 point of damage, but when you use a spell in a higher level, you get more damage. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah, I'm just going to use Oh, no, no, no. It increases the amount of time, but it still is just 1d6, yeah. All right, Brad. So, 5 plus 8 plus 10, five, so... so... That's 23. Yeah. Piece of damage. Jesus, with the silvered arrow. Nice. 23. He's, he's not looking like he's having a good time. Ah, uh, that second arrow would have killed him. Fuck. Alrighty. Wait, I can move. Yep, you can move. Scurry! Scurry with the little cobalt <laughs> legs! <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> you, get his, you get in his face? Yep. Hey, how's it nice. going? It uh, lets out this horrific howl as you come close to it. Uh, it is now the werewolf's turn. I'd like to imagine that, like, he, he looks, the arrow hits him, he looks down, and there's Tass looking up at him, smiling. <gasps> <laughs> okay. Uh, they cannot see, but they can smell really well. Ah, uh, yeah, get a load of this. <laughs> well done. Uh, no, now they know where you are. How classic. Yeah, they smell the blood. Uh, behind you, you hear the shifting of, of wood and the scraping of claws against stone. Uh, I will roll with disadvantage because they cannot see you. Okay. Are, are, are they? Are oh, they a... You are so lucky they rolled another natural 20, but it got removed because of the disadvantage. Uh, that is going to be a 17 to hit you. What's your AC right now with your flourish? 
Joker? Oh, me? Oh, yeah. oh, sorry, 14. Yeah, you never said who they were attacking. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, I mean, he, he, most immediate target, kind of, at the moment. Yeah. Uh, all right, 14. that will hit you. Yeah. Uh, you take... Oh, you take plus... Oh, I don't like the plus. You take four points of piercing damage okay, as okay. you feel like your leg is just snapped on and pulled and you kind of like grab onto the side of the carriage as you're being pulled and yanked but you manage to kick the nose of this werewolf and you hear Arr! and then you hear a sound of swift claws that are going to come down on you oi off the uh, boots that's a high roll again and that's a two that completely misses uh you flip around onto your back and you bring up your sword and you just you you watch as these two sets of fangs clash down on your blade and start snapping at you as they're holding it aloft and then you kind of kick it back and it flings off, almost tripping over the corpse of the horse. Oh. Uh, the other one in front is going to go for the horse again with disadvantage. Another natural 20. What the? Whoa. This is. And then, okay. Yeah, he hits the horse again. I mean, they're pretty big, so. Four, five, uh, seven. Yeah, horse is dead. You watch uh... as you. As you watch as you get up, you hear a slamming noise as the head of a decapitated horse slams up against the front jockey seat of the carriage. No, that's not good. Oh, no. Red screams. No! You've been godfathered. <laughs> Yikes. Damn. Yeah. yeah, you have. Do that real fast. Um, and then it is going to move in the... Actually, it's going to try and find another target if it can. Uh, and it does so successfully, it is going to move in some undiscerned location. Uh, Mr. Fairy Fire, who is currently glittering like a disco ball, um, is kind of gonna actually, hmm. Yeah, I think it would. It's gonna disengage from you, so you get an attack, uh, an opportunity to attack with advantage, Rat. Oh, wait, it's disengaging? It's disengaging. Is no, that... it's not disengaging, it's running. It's like, oh, run. okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, right. my language is not good today. Hell oh. yeah, I'm attacking it. Fuck him. Yeah. With advantage? Yes. Bam, 21. Thank God. 21, that hits. Eight. Eight. Yeah, you, you tag him on the way out. You, you see a, a puff of fur land on your chest. Uh, Borky, mm. you watch as coming out of the uh, fog is a werewolf. Jumps over It comes me? ripping around and slides around. No, just like, like an initial D like werewolf slide and then slides behind you. Deja and immediately... woo. Deja <laughs> Son of a bitch. And it is going to attempt to attack you. Multi claw drifting. Indeed. Uh, that is going to be a 15 to hit you. And that. Oh, it just barely hits me, yeah. It hits you? Okay. Uh, that is going to be nine points of piercing damage cut in half because of your rage. So that's going to be four. And then I need you to make a constitution saving throw for me. Mm. All right. 25. You feel like a pulse in your shoulder and you're like, no, and you just like flex and blood just spurts out of your body. Yeah. And eject whatever was Gotta ejected. block out of pain, <laughs> make your body grow. <laughs> it swings around again with its claw. Uh, that is not gonna hit, that's a 12. No, it does yeah, not. It does not hit. It goes to swing and Breckles, as you're inside, you duck below as you watch as the werewolf's claws just rip through the side of the carriage and just barely miss you and Borky. Mm. Uh, and that brings us to the other werewolf on the other side. So many werewolves! Right. Uh, out of the shadows, they're going to stay in the mist. They're going to have disadvantage, but they're going to have plus two. So they're going to stay in the mist and they're going to attack you, Borky, again. Shit! <laughs> uh, it's gonna be advantage. Oof, not gonna happen. That is going to be a seven. Uh, you see a shifting form. You mentioned duck underneath as a claw swipes at you. And then the Borky is Dempsey happens. rolling right now, everybody, just so you know. <laughs> Borky's building up so much speed. Uh, it's gonna be a ten as you see as jaws snap out from the fog and just barely miss you. Borky's that like in the middle of a dodgeball game, dodging all these balls. <laughs> Oh, ooh, all these fantastic <gasps> moves. If you can uh, dodge a wolf, you can dodge a ball. Exactly. <laughs> true. Uh, Greckles, it is now your turn. All right, Greckles is going to pull... Thanks for the smoke! <laughs> <laughs> Look, it may have saved it Rat. actually kind of helped you guys out a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah I know bit. what I'm doing. 
They can Jesus. detect people in the cloud, but they still have disadvantage to hit. We Let got me hit you, God right. damn it. All right. Uh, I'm using my bonus action to dash, because I'm cool like that. Okay. Bloopers, bloopers coming out. Going to get right behind him. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the the werewolf that Bork is fighting. Get behind him to get that good old flank. Nice. And, and um, you have advantage because of the fairy fire. Right. So oh is Lord. fairy fire concentration, Joe? Let me check right I now. I think it is. <laughs> oh Probably. Boy. So I guess we haven't been rolling for that. We'll roll a concentration check right now then just to <laughs> mitigate. You did get hit multiple times, so we'll just do one right now. I can't we'll see say where it says. It, says. it should have a C on it next to the spell. We can, come on. Come on, uh, you can find yes, it. Yes, it does. It does, yeah. Okay, so if you could just roll a constitution saving throw for me real fast. Yep. 15. Okay, you're fine. You're holding right. it. Cool. Just do that. Just have to remember for the next time. Yeah. Just Greckle, like, oh. Greckle's okay, finally, Greckle's finally withdraws, bathing in light the sun blade, reels okay. back, simultaneously drawing the silver tips Wakazashi, and just double stabs into this thing's flank. All right, first attack. <laughs> That's oh, a nat 20! Wow. Oh, Natural okay. 20 with a sunblade, your, baby! Your sneak attack is doubled too. Oh, God! Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, first and foremost, Ooh. nothing Ooh. Eleven. Okay. Eleven. okay. Something so, personal. So, 8 d6? Yeah. Oh. Holy shit. Oh. Sneak attack. Bam! 38. Oh, that's a lot of damage! That's a lot of damage. You rolled two fives, three sixes. You rolled nothing below a three. Can I can I can I flavor this? Yes, you may. As you kill wait, do you actually Yeah, one second, let me just check this thing's health. No, yeah, he's still dead. alive! Yeah. Oh no, he's dead. He's, that would be the dead. worst. Rogues, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead. You see Greckles twisting the sun blade hard as he just <clears throat> as he as he commands the light to move ever outward. Hang on a second. <laughs> you, you okay? <laughs> no, I had, a, I had a sneeze. Twisting a blade. And he yanks it out screaming, Orans will be done! Ugh. Sorry, right. guys. You bring down yeah. the blade on the chest of the werewolf and it falls down flat in front of you, Borky. As it does, its form, wolfish form, fades away to like a middle-aged human man lying Get face down. Oh my in the god, mud. you turned him into a person and he died! Uh, let's see here. I moved. Give me a second. You moved like five, ten. I got another a lot to work with. Um, I will actually go over here and hang out with Panic, and Dude, uh, I'll I'll, I'll, no I'll go ahead, and then I'll I'll go ahead and drop the fog because we're all out. We're all ready. Yep. All right. And then immediately. Is it a bonus action to dispel that, or is it just a free action? I bold thought it was a free action to drop Double spells. Double check, just to see. I. Uh, Some spells are specific. Uh, if it doesn't specify, see. then... Mm -hmm. No, I'm not seeing anything. Not seeing it? Okay, then you're good to go. Okay. Dude, you just straight up did, like, the Joker dash, where it, like, goes back and forth. Yeah. Joy. It's like... <laughs> All right, Borky, it is now your turn. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay. Borky. <laughs> Borky just, just kind of does that Hulk smirk smash <sighs> when Borky can see them now, finally. Borky's going to go into a <laughs> frenzied rage and activate reckless attack. That will take your bonus action, and it will take another rage slot. Yeah. Oh. Okay, you're willing to do that? My, uh, yeah, my reckless attack gives me a... No, I can attack as a bonus action, though. Yeah, you can attack as a bonus action. So you have your first attack, your second attack from extra attack, and then a bonus action attack. So you can attack three times using your bonus action. Okay, I'll but if you go into a, if you go into a frenzied rage, that takes your bonus action and that takes a, a rage slot for the day. Okay, I will take up the frenzied rage so I can get a third attack then. Okay. No, so you. Wait, what? You, you will only get two attacks this round because you're using the bonus action to go into the rage. You can't use the bonus action attack this turn. Next turn you can. Next turn you can. After this one. Hello? Oh, no, it doesn't miss No, I was reading it. I was reading it. Actually, I, re I was reading it. I was like, oh, yeah, you're correct. All right, yep. Borky's gonna 
Marky's gonna swing down his axe. So wait, hold on. Are you gonna go into a frenzied rage or no? Yes. You are? Okay. So you get two attacks this turn. Yep. Uh, Borky swings with the great sword. Uh, and that's a 10. Nothing. You go and you swing and the werewolf punches you in the gut. <laughs> Wait, but if he's, uh, if he's in a frenzied rage, doesn't that give him advantage? No, it's reckless oh. attacks. Oh, reckless attacks. Okay, never yeah, mind. No worries, you bad. just you keel over forward and you just reach up and you go to swing again. Roll your second attack. Uh, no, 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 no. This time with flavor. 16. You got it. <laughs> this time you hit. Nine. Plus two, that's nine. It brings him down. Take this all right, you go down, you swing, and you see a spray of blood, but you watch as the werewolf curls over and some of the wounds begin to heal, but the magical edge of your blade seems to be very potent against this creature. Does that end your turn? Yeah. I mean, I'd like right. to... I'd like... How much can I move while I... Can I use my reaction to move in combat? No. Okay. No, you can't. Your reaction is, is very specific. Okay. All right. Uh, that brings us, unless you want to move and, and have an opportunity attack against you. No, I'm good. Uh, yeah, uh, probably not the best idea in this position. Mm -hmm. um, all right, panic. It is now your turn. Mm. It appears for some weird reason, the Hellhound specifically doesn't seem to affect them. <laughs> it's just hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Beans. How's it going, dude? Uh, let me see what it's scratching takes itself right this now. Illusion then. Use my action to cause the illusion. Da, 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 da. Doesn't matter. If I if I do another concentration spell. Drop my concentration on that one. Anyway, uh, all right. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Actually, uh, panic is going to. How far can he move? He's going to... Hmm. Can't. Can't do that. All right. Rat, you follow panic, so get ready for your turn following up. He's okay, just okay. gonna... Uh, he's gonna sandwich this thing against the cart. Okay. Which uh, is not you one blanking. I know, I know, but uh, the werewolf attacking Borky, and you do not get flanking with an object. It is only. Can I normal. see all three of the werewolves now, though? Yes, you can. You can see all okay. three. Okay. Uh, so just for those, uh, for those who don't know, he's now bor now he's right up in, uh, I, on the north. I the just, court. I just, Kurt, I just said that. Oh, I didn't hear that. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just said he's attacking the one that you're fighting with at the moment. So. Okay. Yeah, okay. All three of the werewolves. One is just covered in gore, like horse guts. <laughs> I viscera. also see the horses are dead now as well. Oh, right? they're oh, yeah. super yeah. dead. One's decapitated, so. and the other one is just like bleeding out on the ground, and its body is still kind of twitching. Rad. Panic. Yeah. Uh, panic will roll his eyes. And go. Ugh. Keep two of them alive. We need some replacements for our horses now. <laughs> I'm going to cast Bane. Okay. Mm. You have to make a saving throw for that, correct? Yep. Charisma. Charisma. Uh, not very charismatic wolves. Uh, the first one rolled a seven. Nope. The one in front of Rat, who just decapitated a horse, rolled a three. Nope. <laughs> Jeez, now here come all the bad rolls. And the one that's behind Rat at the moment uh, rolls a five. Mm. Jesus, they're, they're not all, charming. They're all baned. <laughs> I have a d4 set aside. And... <laughs> As a bonus action, I am going to. Uh, hmm. Well, seeing as how I just he he put myself in danger, I'm going to look at the one that I'm just standing in front of, and I'll activate a uh, mantle of devilry. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I cast command grovel on him. Okay. Just look at him. My eyes flare with my inner infernal fire, and I say prismatskia. Ooh. Could you press command for me just to see what specific effect that does do? Does that translate uh, to sit, by the way? <laughs> no, it's, 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 it translates to grovel. Oh. Uh, grovel, the target falls oh. prone and then ends its turn. All right. Uh, that's kind of weird. Hold on. Uh, the target falls prone. Done, 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 done. 
it's weird because it's not in its turn at the moment. Yeah, oh, it. so it's uh, that is weird. Yeah. I think it is. Is it meant to oh, say it's prone it's, on its next turn? On its turn, it's prone. Okay. Well, it's yeah. gonna go. Yeah. Okay. So the target falls prone and then ends its turn. Okay. Good. Good to know. Mm -hmm. All right. So on its turn, it will do this thing. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Makes sense. All right. Rat. It is now. Oh wait. You. Wait. Did it? Did it save? Oh, I didn't roll. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was. That's wisdom, right? Wisdom. There you go. Reminding you to roll. Yes, it is wisdom. Thank you. I, and I was Spain gonna as well. To you. Uh, ooh, okay, that's a, that's a 16, but it is Bane. Yep. Yep, come on. That's a 15. <sighs> one. I rolled a one on the d4. Damn it. It just <laughs> makes it. Oh, it I'm sorry. My spell, save, my spell save DC is 15. Mm. I'm sorry. That's what I get for reminding you to roll, I suppose. <laughs> no, it's okay. I mean, it's, I, I don't... I appreciate you not, you know, taking advantage of a mistake, and I try not to do that to you guys, so I appreciate it. Um, yeah, no, it, like, roars right in your face, like your head is in its mouth, it's just, just screaming at you, and you're just covered in werewolf saliva, and you're just, like, your hair is blown back, and your eyes are squinted closed, and it snaps its jaw in front of you and just snorts. This one, this one's going to be a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, uh, that brings us to you, Rat. You are oh, surrounded please. by werewolves at the moment. All right. Well, I uh, I stand up and kind of make like a salsa pose, and I, I I say, just kind of in the area. Well, now you do truly like to scream. I would like to use it as an opportunity to make some sweet, soothing sounds. You don't mind if I compose, do you? And I'm going to cast thunderclap. Oh shit. Yeah, nice. and I do I do like a salsa clap, like. Da -da. What is your what is your actual uh, spell DC? Because for some reason, roll twenty doesn't oh, yeah. seem to like it bark. My number eleven. It's yeah. uh, fourteen. Okay. Wow, I rolled two ones. Great. Ugh, fuck. So yeah. <laughs> Constitution save. So what's their con? Plus two. So the one closest, this one down here, the one that's that's behind you, saves. So okay. does it take half damage on a save? It actually, or? it actually takes no damage. Okay, I'm gonna roll for the one Shit. next to you that has just mutilated your horse. Uh, that's a five, so he will take two damage. Okay. All right, and then the one it's technically in range that is between Panic and Borky is gonna also make a Constitution saving throw. Um, uh, wait, bang. the other one down the. The Bane, Bane. It oh, yeah, to... Bane, Bane. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. Bane. I can't remember what the original number was. Do you guys remember what the original number was? Nope. Uh, it's right. Wasn't it? Did it? Oh, wait, you no, I just made it. You didn't really, you didn't say the number. Yeah. Oh, did I not say the number? I think it was, I think it was 16. Okay. Okay. And it was minus three, so I'm going to say, yeah, yeah, oh, it okay, fails yeah. too. It will take the damage as well. Nice. Uh, Bane works for once. <laughs> and then the one next to Panic. Of he will roll. Uh, that is a nine. So they all okay. take the two damage. A whopping two damage. How about that? And where do you want to jump to? Uh, that's, that's my turn. That's. Oh, that's this one doesn't let you teleport. I'm still thinking of thunder. No. That's oh, my bad. Goodness. All right. Task. It is now your turn. You are in front of a very. Wait, he didn't attack on his turn, did he? I don't believe so. He mm -hmm. did not. I forgot. No, that he did uh, two little things. Let's do the werewolf. Tango here, Task. How does that sound? <laughs> All right. Uh, he's gonna go for a bite attack against you. That's probably not gonna hit. That is going to be an eleven. Nope, misses. And then he's gonna swing with his claws. Uh, that is going to be a sixteen to hit you. That just hits. That hits. All right. Didn't get the one that's nastier, unfortunately. You take seven points of slashing damage. Alrighty. As the claw rakes across the side of your face, uh, that ends its turn. It'll make it your turn now. Sorry, I forgot about that werewolf. Tash just like turns his head, looks back at him. That was cute. Now it's my turn. God. Just like, it's... hmm, that head of yours will make a nice five dollars and slice him with a fucking short sword. We need horses. Right. <laughs> That oh. just hits. Oh, sick. And he also Ooh. has Hunter's Mark and fucking Colossus yeah, Slayer. He does. Oh, God. All right. So the raw damage is five. 
That's silver, by the way. Okay. Five silvered, good. Yep. Uh, Hunter's Mark. P6. Seven. And Colossus Player. Eight. Eight. There we go. Oh. That is just enough to kill it. Yeah! <laughs> You just, you let it go, cute. You just swing, and the werewolf just kind of looks down, and he goes, <laughs> and the head just plops onto the side of the ground as you watch the, the wolfish-like form warp into a female body and sling, slop over to the ground. All right, well, I'm going to grab the head because that's money. Yep, five Dracadian Gildans. All right, uh, I'm going to, so hold on, I have a question. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, I have two questions, actually. Uh, okay. Monty, will you allow will you allow silver arrows to be taken as cold damage if I activate Ghoul? Uh, yes. Any ammunition you use, you can decide what it will be. If you use Ghoul, no matter what it is, it would become cold damage instead of the actual damage type. It is not considered magical damage for the sake of attacking enemies that are um, either vulnerable or would it, would it still count as a silvered weapon though? No. Okay, fair enough. It would be uh, cool damage. So. And Zep Zephyr Strike, I just realized. Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Once your spell. Uh, you move like the wind until the spell ends. Your movement doesn't provoke attack of opportunity. Uh, this is a concentration spell. It is a scroll, though. The so whatever the duration is, you used it as a scroll. Wait, was it a Wait, Zephyr Strike was a scroll? Yeah, you got that from Edward. Oh. All right, uh, then I will fucking bounce over this way. So for uh, the sake of that, I'll say it lasts the duration of the spell, okay. not concentration. I'll just say for this instance, because you didn't you didn't know, but just for next time. So do I have sixty or thirty? Uh, if Zephyr is still activated, I would say you still have whatever you get with. Then I have six. Then I have sixty. 60. So, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm allowing that this time. I'm just saying. Okay, that. no, no, no. That's this fair. That, that's just so uh, this is this is more for the audience. We're gonna be like, but you can't do. It. I'm like, I didn't know. We didn't know. I'm just gonna let it happen because you know, fun. Let's do it. That, that's fair. That's fair. All right. So I'm gonna mosey on over this way. Will you grant me my second ability to strike? Uh, yes, because you only attacked once. So you Excellent. pull the bow. You run. You yep. pull the bow and you strike for where, your second where, attack. Where are you moseying to, dude? Uh, right next to Greckles. All right, so now you have visual of the wolf between Borky and Panic, and I you, do. Can, you just barely see Rat being currently just swiped at by a bunch of werewolves. And this guy, how does he look in terms of damage? The gentleman in front of uh, Borky and Panic? Yeah. Uh, looking at him, he's got a lot of fight on them. These are very tough, you know, forceful creatures. They are okay. not your run-of-the-will bandits. Okay, then fuck this guy, shooting him with an arrow. All right. Nice of you to call him a gentleman. 24, that hits. 24. Silvered arrow as well, I'm assuming. Yes. Okay. So six. Does he take Colossus to new target? Well, you, are, you already used it on the past one. Fair enough. You get it once per turn, so you just get the six damage. Can but I pass still... Can I pass bonus action to Hunter's Mark him? Yes, you may. Excellent. I will do so. All right. <sighs> we will say because you're you can't put the bonus action in between your extra attacks, you have to do that at the end of your turn. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, That's fine. Yeah. That's super fine. Right. So that's six points of damage. That brings him down to this amount. All right. That brings us to the werewolf's turn. Now they can see. Oh, um, And they are still not the happiest of campers at the moment. Um, yeah. In fact, this werewolf's going to move over here. Uh, panic. The leader yep. werewolf is going to go for you. Uh oh. First attack. You know it's the alpha. Are you sure about that? <laughs> plus four is 17, and then Bane. Bane. Minus one, so it's 16. That still hits. All right. So it's going to be. Oof. It's going to be nine points of piercing damage. I need you to make a constitution saving throw for me. Okay. Con save. 13? Just barely. You look up at the moon and you feel its influence, but you're just like, no, no, and you feel the devil blood in you expel yeah. out whatever yeah. disease is coursing through your veins. And while that devil blood is boiling within me, I give him a hellish rebuke. Okay. Ooh. Just make a dex Mother... saving throw, correct? Fucking where? Yeah. Okay. Well, that is going to be a 13. Oh, what the? 
Oh, yeah, it didn't. It didn't. Whoa. Come on. I know. I oh, see no. that. It's, a hell it's a ghost damage. damage. Come on. A ghostly rebuke. Ooh. Spooky damage. Let me see. Uh, what is the damage die on Hellish Rebuke? Two. It's like a D10, isn't it? Two D10 yeah, or something. Two D10. Like yeah. Two what's this? What's, what's the saving throw on it? What's it 15. based on? Fifteen. Is it fifteen? Okay. Uh, so he fails. So he takes the full damage. So roll two D10. Yeah, but let me see if Infernal Legacy. Uh, do I cast Hellish Rebuke at a higher level? I think I do. I think you do. Yeah. Uh, Hellish Resistance and Barbed Hide, Infernal Legacy. Hellish Rebuke at second level. All right, so hang on. 2d10, then. This is a fun fight. I'm having fun. <laughs> oh, stress. What the hell? Dude, you, you just, 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 just manually roll it. I'll have to fix it, I guess. I don't know why it's doing that to you. That's going to be 11 good. fire damage. 11 fire damage to the leader guy. Yeah, he just erupts into flames. A bunch of his fur starts igniting, and you guys smell burnt hair everywhere. It's uh. awful. <laughs> and the werewolf staggers and, like, kind of whips its arms around, snarls at you and roars, and is going to attack you again with its claws. It is pissed off. Uh, that is going to be a 16. Bane. Uh, minus 2 is going to make it a 14. That is my armor class. Oh, shit. Okay. I love Bane. I feel bad. That's me. Someday it'll work. Uh, you take another seven points of slashing damage as it rakes the claw across your chest, just catching your jacket a little bit. Uh, okay. That ends the leader wolf's turn. Mr. Hunter Mark over here is going to look towards you, Borky. No, he has to sit down. He he passed the save, though. Oh, he did? Remember? Don't no, sorry, there's so many werewolves. Might be. I know. <laughs> he passed the save. Uh, he is going to go for you, Borky. Uh, come uh, on. Ooh, ooh, damn. Okay, that's going to be a 23, Bane. I mean, something's going to help. Uh, right. It's going to be a 21 to hit you. It doesn't work. No, it works. All right. Uh, you take eight points of piercing damage cut in half to four because of your rage. Yeah. And you make a constitution saving throw for me. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry, I love this. Oh, um... I didn't get a bonus action on my turn. Oh. Well, that was your reaction. You got attacked. That was your reaction. No, but on my previous turn, I didn't use you my did. bonus you action. Used your, you did your mantle of Deverly to do the command spell. Oh, that's right. Never yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Panic, you've had enough turns. Let Borky have a turn. <laughs> uh, constitution saving throw from you, Borky. There we go. 15. 15. You shrug it off, and you just kind of mm, growl at the wolf. The wolf roars back in your face. This is going to go for a second attack here. Natural one. Oh. It goes Bane. In... Okay. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, no. I'm good with that. It be worse. It goes to swing, and its claws bash into the side of the, of the carriage, and it, like, pulls, and it's stuck. It can't move. Its movement is now zero, and it's considered restricted, restrained oh, that mean, for this that, entire turn. Does that, so ah, does that mean I Perfect. get to hit? Does that does that mean I get to hit it with advantage? Yeah, basically. <laughs> okay. Uh, He's prime positioned for horsing. Um, the werewolf behind you, rat, is gonna grab you by the shoulders. <laughs> Oh, shit. And it's gonna turn you around and stare at you. Go feel the call of Ilune now, brother. Turn with us. Oh fuck! We should make a wisdom saving throw for me. Oh, oh no! 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 You're good. You're good. Oh! Okay. You want to know why you're good? Because it's a crescent moon. It's not a full moon. Oh! oh. Okay. oh you, 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 you feel your blood boil. You feel as if you're going to change, but. You hold it down deep, deep inside who you are as rat, keeps you in place. The wolf roars in anger and is still going to attempt to bite you, but he doesn't get his claw attack. Okay. Uh, by the way, my AC is now 12 because uh, defensive flourish ends at the start of my next turn. From he got it at to... We have another natural one for the werewolf. Okay. Bane. <laughs> and Bane. <laughs> opens his mouth to bite into you, and you grab the horse head and you lift it up in front of you. It just gets a mouthful of horse head. <laughs> <laughs> and spits it out. Uh, uh, that will end the werewolf's turn. Uh, that brings us back to Greckles. Hearing all this, uh, Task, you, you see a, a small pile of feathers as Greckles makes that bonus action mad dash. Let's see, 20, Oh boy, 20, there he goes running again. 
There's 45, so I've got another 35 to work with. Jesus. Wheel the Sunblade back. Going for that, uh, going for that second hit right in this beast backside. The one All that's right. currently, that currently has the horse at the its one that's, the that's one. currently <laughs> chopping down the horse at his rat is just wrestling with it on the jockey seat. Yup. <laughs> okay, plus two. That absolutely will hit. So that is six. Six radiant and sneak attack because he's he's yeah. currently has another person adjacent to him. Here. Yeah. Thirteen. So that's so nine. nine. 19. Let me just quickly do math here. Nice. That's a solid hit. You go up and you strike right on the back of the werewolf. Like, the, you feel the blade go straight through. And it just roars and throws back, throwing the horse head. It goes bouncing across into the woods as the wolf is, like, <laughs> reaching back for you now. I shout and... out to the horse head. Sorry! <laughs> Let's see. I've got another 35, so I'm going to move directly behind that cart. See All right. Mobile feet, you move behind mm -hmm. that car without taking any opportunity attack. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that ends your turn there. That does. I have to pee really bad. I will be right back. I'm so sorry. Yeah, Bye, Greckles. Sure. Greckles goes to the bathroom oh, in the woods. Forky, it is now your turn. <laughs> Greckles is peeing now. I need to go. Forky, the, wolf, uh... the werewolf in front of you is just like, like looking like pretty nervous right now with its claw trapped in the broken glass of the window. Forky's going to be attacking aggressively this turn that does not take an action, which I'm happy about. Yeah, so now you have three attacks with your with your frenzied rage and reckless attack. So I attack with it. Uh, you already have advantage. You already have being advantage. Prone, so you don't need to do that. Oh, because well, if you if do I, that, if everything I, has a, if you do that, everything has advantage on you. That's true, but I think is this. I, I feel like if I kill this thing, I just want to keep. You already have advantage on it, though. Oh, okay, I, I thought I had to declare yeah. it at the beginning of my attack. I can declare it per attack. No, it is. It's stuck in the cabin. So well, the thing is, if, I kill him, I, if I'm killing him, I want to go to the next. Your, okay. your reckless attacks is at the beginning of your turn, I believe. Oh, let me let me double check. You can throw yeah. aside all concern for defense to attack and fierce desperation. You make when you make your when first you make the first attack on your turn, you decide to do you decide to attack recklessly. Doing so gives you advantage on melee weapon attack rolls using strength during this turn. Okay. So, so that's it's pointless to do that because you would just put yourself at a disadvantage. This okay. guy's already prone, so save that for a character that you could get advantage on that doesn't already give you advantage, because if not, all the werewolves are going to have advantage on you. Okay. For no reason. Um, all right. There's Kurt. I don't know why you're upset. Oh, because if I kill him, I want to keep going through everybody. It's, a, it's fine. You, you it's can do it on your following turn. Okay. You can do that the next turn. You don't all have right. to do all it right. this all right. turn. All right. No worries. No worries. No worries. Okay. Uh, Bork's going to swing his greatsword. All right. With advantage. 14, 14 will hit. Yeah. Good. It's the other one. Sheepers. 14 12 damage. Plus 2, 14 damage on Ooh. this werewolf. Oof. One second, let me just do math real fast here. And that's with oh. run fault, so it's magic, right? Yeah, it is magic. Magic and damage. You even, you even know as you swing, a gusts of wind can kind of like peek out a little bit. Just small, not enough to make any sort of significant change, but you see breeze lines around I the way. Like setting one, like the first, like level one on a fan. Yeah. yeah. Uh, doesn't that feel nice right at night? Anyways, second swing. <laughs> I got right now. And that's a 16. 16. Will hit. Mm. 15 damage. Nice, 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 nice. Let me quickly do math here. All right, yeah, you swing again and you, you slice off his arm. You just swing once and he staggers and like he pulls his arm and his arm is right there, prime for the take. And you're like, okay, you take Ronfall and you just slice off his arm and it is just hanging on the side of the carriage as it lets out this roar as its stump is kind of bleeding and gushing blood. And Borky's gonna go three for three. Swing home, like like the movie Signs. Fourteen. Okay. <laughs> that hit. And Fourteen Twelve damage. Plus two. Nice. He is looking so bad as you bring the blade up and you slice into the other shoulder. He is on his knees and literally looks like he's just like barely hanging on. Oh, uh, mm. Okay, and that will end my turn. Also, apologies for earlier. I just I just had an idea, but I understand your point though. We didn't we didn't want you to sabotage yourself. I know, no, no, no worries, no worries. It's all it's all it's all good. It's all good. I appreciate it though. Unless it was completely in character. I mean, I, I mean, I'm mean, okay with. I would, I would okay argue. But, I would ass, argue the way Borky fights. He should always. Be, people should always be attacking you. You have not been here long enough. That happens like five times a session. Uh, speaking of which, panic. It's now your turn again. Now, I I don't know if we have established that. Um, can I non-lethally do magic damage? Oh, uh, <laughs> yes, depending yes. on the. 
spell is. Okay, I don't think I can. <laughs> I mean, I have in the past. Kurt, but... are you okay? No, I can't. I, I want to be a fish. I inhaled my water. <coughs> Just wait a second here. I'm okay. All right. What are you trying to do, Panda? All right. Sorry. Uh, this this dude that's at death's door. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna lean into him. I'm gonna whisper in his wolf ear and gonna be like, "They will laugh at you when we parade you around in our cart. I'm gonna horse you. <laughs> and I'm, gonna vicious, <laughs> I'm gonna vicious mockery him. Okay. Non-lethal. Non-lethal vicious mockery. You're gonna try and break him. All right. Uh, it's a uh, wisdom save. I'm assuming. Wisdom saving throw for five psychic damage. Uh, that's an 18. Bane. Nothing but Bane. Uh, four, so it's a 14. It just barely fails. Hey! Finally. Uh, the, werewolf, <laughs> the werewolf literally shakes and then passes out. Uh, <laughs> back into a human. Uh, no. Looks to be like a balding, like, friar looking gentleman of some sort. Panicles shout, like, wait, like, Rand like uh, Randy Savage wave his finger around in the air. Put him in the stirrups! <laughs> and and then I'm going to shift my uh, self over so that I am flanking the leader werewolf. All right. Uh, with rat, and I'm just gonna be like, "You're getting the horse too, buddy." Prismatskia, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna command grovel again. Okay. Hmm. That's a charisma one, or no? That's wisdom. That is wisdom. Yes. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's kind of the same for them, but... Uh, no. Uh, plus Bane. Yeah, uh, that's gonna be with Bane, a seven. Nope. So he falls he, prone. He is on his turn, he will fall prone. Hmm. All right. Uh, that brings us to you, Rat. Okay, in response to the wolf trying to get me to join his side, I will respond, in your dreams, and I'm going to cast sleep at fourth level. Wah! <laughs> Oh, that's oh, good. That's nice. good. Nice. That's good. Okay. okay. All right. Holy that's two shit. ones. That's, that's that's still pretty good. Forty-six. Right. One second. I saw the I saw the red and I got mad. Sorry. Forty-six. Oh. Uh, that's gonna. Where's wolf, werewolf number four? Hold on. You're in all of our dreams. There. Right. Oh, this you. werewolf. This werewolf falls asleep. Okay. Uh, sorry. I'm just like that was. Sorry. It's forty. Uh, 40, oh, it's 48 actually. Okay, 48. So that's one sec. I gotta grab a calculator real fast. Fuck <laughs> sleep, man. <laughs> coup de grawing was removed in fifth ed, correct? Yes. 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 And not coup de gras. Thank God, I hate coup de grawing. <laughs> it's, it's, so like, it's it's pointless. Uh, shit. Number five also fa falls asleep. So they both fall asleep. Uh huh. Thud, thud, they're both unconscious, and as such- I want to imagine some birds in a tree keep fall- like, all fall out, too. <laughs> Alright, so, immediately, I'm gonna have Task use the scroll of remove curse on Rat. Okay. Oof. You Oof. feel really awful, Rat, and then the moment that scroll comes into play, you feel a thousand times better. Greckles, I don't feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I feel- You're gonna be okay, okay son. I feel much better now. Thank you. Your carriage is fucked, by the <laughs> way. Yeah, I'm, gonna, you, are I'm missing, okay. you are missing the front left wheel has been ripped off from Borky, like, throwing the door open. He threw open the door, the wall, and ripped the wheel off in one one. This might be. Uh, uh, both your horses are dead as hell. Like, maybe, really dead. Maybe our new horses aren't going to cut it. But, uh, but I'll cut them. Borky's just brandishing his blade. How long? Me, sleep... me too. How long does sleep last? By the way, let me just double check that. Sleep lasts until they wake uh, up. I think, one right? minute. Sleep. Okay. We got one minute. I'm, I'm tire kill. Like... We gotta decide now. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, tie up the tie up the leader. Tie up this guy that I I insulted him and uh, kill the other guy. Yeah, kill the one has one arm. All right, so everyone on the ready, <laughs> we all strike at once. Oh my god. Who's, who's in on this? Oh, I know. Well, let's bind him first so he can't run or defend himself. Okay, uh, fair enough. Do we have any bindings? I but do. Well, I here's, here's the problem, though. Like, here's the problem, though, guys. Oh, we got bindings. Borky points back at the chain they tried to chain us up with. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you could do that. Yeah, you guys like have a minute, you though, think. so you better hurry up. All right, go, no, no, no. Go. Borky pulls the chain off. Borky pulls the chain off immediately. Borky, okay. chain this one up so we can kill it. Uh, 
So mm -hmm. are you guys killing all three of them then? You, you no, lads no, can no. have just just the one. We're There's sparing. The one. We're killing we're the sparing... one in front of the carriage. Yeah, we're sparing the other two. The one armed guy and the 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 leader are being spared. Yeah, oh, yeah, we need horses. And then the one below is getting attacked. All right, let me just yeah. pull up their health again because I closed my ball. Out attack! Shit. Yeah. You, you uh, lads, you lads can so... have at this. I don't feel comfortable attacking a defenseless person. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Greckles and Task, I will say, uh, choose amongst you who's going to be the first to hit because whoever hits first automatically gets a crit because they are unconscious. Uh, I, I have a silver blade. I, I am going to say Greckles should because he's got sneak attack. I have sneak attack. Okay, this okay, would trigger okay. Sneak attack. <laughs> okay, so... okay. Okay, so we good? Yep. Sounds like you guys right. want to kill this one and the other ones are going to get tied up. Looking real yep. cool, Greckles. <laughs> All right, so it. here we go. Never see it come. That's okay, that minutes. hits. Auto crit. So five... Uh, roll another d6. Roll another d6 there. 5 plus... And One, then... Six. Sneak attack here goes, damage. Here's go the 8! <laughs> 22, so that's going to be 28 points of damage. Uh, his eyes pop up, and as you bring down the blade on him, he does not die from that. Uh, but he looks really beat up. Tass, you get an attack too, because you're holding... Here I go! 20! That hits. 3. Do I get that? Okay, and Col Colossus Slayer. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the scene uh, where they're destroying the printer from Office Space. <laughs> <laughs> just, just as, like, Greckles comes down to strikes in the world, rah, rips up and goes to swing, and just as he does, you bring down the short sword through the back of his neck, and you put him down. Third head! Pick it up. No. Where are you going to keep these heads? Don't shut in up! In the carriage! <laughs> in the carriage! We can't take the carriage! It's busted! No, it's not busted. We can try to repair There's no it. axle! <laughs> Borky, how do you know what that is? I'm a fan of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Thank you. Thank you. All, All right, right, so I, looking I, I, at this... I'll, I'll see uh, out of character. The novel I'm... series by a famous writer, I don't know. Uh, well, about... looking, at this, um, looking at this carriage, does it look like it is well and truly beyond repair? Roll, it, roll an intelligence check. Uh, it's gonna be... 13? It is not going to get you anywhere. It is thoroughly destroyed. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna kneel down and caress the dead horses. I'm sorry, friends. You didn't uh, deserve this. I'm keeping my arrow. I'm keeping so, my arrows trained what? on these two motherfuckers. Why? Okay, we got like 20 seconds. Panic. Explain to me why I shouldn't kill them. Uh, 20 seconds. They, well, they know the area. We could get information. Out oh, of get them. get that out of the leader. The one who like who? Which one was the one? Who was like, hey, don't don't stop stop. Stop, I'm Well, I'm okay, wounded. so before I, before I saw the state of the cart, I thought we could use them as, you know, like, backup horses. Okay, I'm just gonna kill the one with one arm, otherwise he's gonna wake up and be like, Oh, where's my arm? Hey, bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll assist with that. No, 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 no. Both of them are awake at this point as you watch them roll their eyes open. The leader now, they're both humans again, because when they're unconscious, they lose their wolf forms. All right, Penny's um, gonna lean down to the leader. One, the, the leader is like kind of like disheveled brown hair, kind of in like a loose ponytail in the back, like a beard and, and mustache combo. Uh, kind of looks like, uh, who's the guy who plays Cal Drogo in, I forgot his name. I oh, his name. Uh, uh, what's his oh, name? Jason Mimosa. On, yeah, he's kind of got like a Jason Mimosa wolf combination going on. <laughs> Jason Momoa. Um, Mimosa is an alcoholic beverage. No, I'm the pretty sure it's werewolf, Mimosa. The other werewolf missing an arm uh, appears to me a male also, um, like completely bald, um, with like a bunch of a bunch of scars on him, and he's missing an arm at this point, uh, which has healed pretty well for him considering. Uh, and they just kind of groggily look up to you, and he just like, <laughs> kind of hey scarred. buddy, uh, how's it going? You, you fucked not... with the wrong cart tonight, didn't you? You may be no vampire, but. Still could have been close. And he turns and he looks at you, Rat, and just kind of licks his lips a little bit. Hmm. Uh, I would be flattered. Would be. Hey, you're looking at me. You're looking at me right now, buddy. And if you look elsewhere, you'll see a fucking arrow go right through your head. He just looks at you, Panic, and he just gives a side glance to you, Task. Acknowledging the situation he is, but he seems to have, like, at least some semblance of balls, I guess. Mm-hmm. Are they not oh, turning right, back into werewolves because it's, uh, 
they're just choosing not to. I don't think it probably would help them. At they this probably point. know they're, they're they're okay, and they are, and we have chained yeah. them up, correct? They have yeah. chained, yeah. Them. yes, they are chained. So Good. ropes, they probably would have broken out of ropes. Chain, they're not breaking out of chain. Borky's gonna be keeping that chain, possibly. <laughs> so, uh, so tell me, uh, you guys uh, go out and do this often? Just attack random cards? Hmm? Have to eat somehow and make the numbers grow. That's fair. That's fair, I suppose. But you risk this, you know, like three of your men are dead, and what's probably going? What was that? Most uh, barcelet noblemen are easy to chew. I might have to say, I'm impressed. That one in particular, he turns ahead and juts towards Borky. Wasn't expecting that to come out of the cart. Usually, the cart is like the soft egg with a little bit of a hard shell on an outside. So, no. yeah, I'd this, say I'm impressed. No, no, this cart was hard boiled. <laughs> and it cost an awful lot of money. It did. By I'm the not way, get, I'm, not, get, I'm not getting them. my money back for this. This sucks. We fleeced them, we checked their pockets. You know, in you know, in the town, uh, werewolf heads go for about five to Cadian Gill. Pask holds uh, up all three heads. <laughs> you are alert. You're worth a lot more to us dead than you are alive, so convince us why we shouldn't. He thinks see if he can come up with an idea. <laughs> I like to imagine. I like. Oh. I could show you a safe road through the woods. A safe road. Uh, Greckles is going to insight that. Absolutely. Yeah, I am Orky's absolutely. Also gonna yeah, I don't that, trust that, this guy at all. <laughs> that's a that's an eighteen insight. Okay. Seven. Hmm. For uh, Greckles. Immediately, you see his eyes glance to the woods. He's probably got friends who could come and jump you guys if he leads you a certain place. Greckles immediately puts the sun blade right, in, right next to his eye. Don't try it. We, you have five seconds to give us a reason to let you vermin live. Four. I'll, I'll take my honorable three. death. The werewolves will have this land again. Right in the neck. Okay. I'll say for this, his health is, he's at two hit points, he's dead. Okay, drive, drive that glowing blade right through that neck. And move we'll just over. pick up that fourth head. Yeah, <laughs> move over to, move over to the other one-armed one. Hey, Fido. You feeling silence. brave? Feeling Says brave, nothing. huh? Uh, Says nothing. Panic, ask him if he, ask him who he works for. Who do you work for? Besides, you know, him, but you just lobbed his <laughs> Uh, roll a persuasion check with disadvantage. Persuasion? Yeah. It's an underling. You never know. Ba, 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 ba. Seven. Oh. It's not going to say a thing. He just looks at the blade and looks to you and just says nothing. He just stares at you. Like a man on the gallows. Another bold death then? Hmm? Maybe we'll let you go if you tell me where the birds take the gold. Roll a persuasion check. Oh. With advantage? <laughs> Eight. <laughs> no. How, wait, wait, time out, time out. How Silence. defeated, how defeated is this person looking? He's not like, looking defeated, more just like defiant. He'd rather die defiant than, than submit at this okay. point. It's, um, it's like uh, a beast. Like a, they don't want to be, you know, conformed to you guys. They prefer to die as an animal. Okay, they, never mind. They, that scratches my plan then. Okay. Yeah. We finish this, gentlemen. Well, a Wait. hero to the end, then. Wait, I uh, I'm gonna step in. Hmm. Mm. Uh, I don't know if this is a little bit too risky, but uh, uh, lads, with your permission, could I undo his chains? Let me go ahead. I have my arrows trained on him. Fair enough. He knows what's going to happen if he tries anything. Yeah, it's true. All right, all right, all right. See what you got here. <laughs> I, uh, I, I will untie him, undo his chains. Okay. Sir, you are lucky to be alive. These. Uh, does a 16 hit you? Okay. Uh, fuck. All right. Fuck well, yeah. the moment I... you let him out, he just leaps on top of you and he yep. is. Yep. Marty, I, I kind of. I... 
It does does anything state that I had my fucking arrows trained on this guy this whole time? This will happen at the same time, so he's gonna get att his attack off, and you're gonna immediately get your attack off at the okay, same time. Okay, yes, that you does. You will not that get a claw hit. attack off though, because your attack will come next. Do we all hit okay. him? Uh, Do we all hit him at once? You take five <laughs> points of piercing damage as he brings down his his face, which is like half human and half wolf at this point. He's gonna bite you. Mm -hmm. Uh, you take five points of damage, and you make another Constitution saving throw. Oh god! No! Oh, for fuck! Yeah. He's like, you will carry on our leg, and chink, you watch as Taft shoots him with the arrow, and mm. he's also dead, because he had, like, two health left. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you just saw the jaws of death, Victor, as you kind of sit there in the mud in the rain. Well, that's what I... Never have you guys before seen creatures like this that usually most people would talk to you. These will not. You learn that in this moment. These things will kill without hesitation, and it given the chance. Mm -hmm. uh, Borky <sighs> helps uh, Rat up. Well, good attempt there, but uh. Bad, yeah, yeah, bad, bad I, news. Bad I, news. That was my only scroll. Ooh. Well, it's all right. As I said, everyone's friend, right? Oof. Well, how, 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 how do I feel? <laughs> uh, you feel shaky as shit right now you're uh, not sure whether that's I? that's the bite whether that's just a close brush with death uh question money in, mm -hmm. in my in my child's book research uh mm -hmm. have i learned that bites cause lycanthropy oh uh, yeah that's pretty obvious <sighs> not bind always it. will they cause lycanthropy but they usually do guys bind his arms what bind his arms oh god i'm mm. sorry right i'm sorry right we just don't know Rat is, Rat is, looks confused. It's like, what, crack, but, uh, panic, but compliant. Panic, get your rope out. Let's tie him up. No, 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 this? no, we need the chain. If he turns, he'll break the rope. Oh, you mean, oh, that's how they, that's, oh, that's what they were talking about. Yeah, that's what it was. All right, let's chain up, chain him up, put him on my back. Let's get out of these woods. <laughs> Well, he made it seem like he had more friends out here in the wilderness. Um, well, we don't exactly have a cot, so you well, either wait here. Yeah, or... we don't have any more horses. We don't have any horses now either. And we need to move. I have an idea. At least okay. it'll probably at least give us some kind of distraction. Let's light the cart on fire and let them draw to it. That's actually not a bad idea. Oh, we just God. killed our backup horses. No, oh, just this is this is so much money. Oh. Let me do it. Let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> Borky. Lights a t can Borky light a torch and set fire to the wooden carriage? Yeah. That cost him a thousand gold! <laughs> this saved you from fighting a really big pack, though. If you guys were out on your, on your own, like, without this, you would have probably had to have dealt with even more werewolves because they would have smelt more people. <laughs> Borky. You have a Viking funeral for your, for your carriage. Yes, right, Borky. Bork Borky, mm. Greco. Pan panic plays My Heart Will Go On in his guitar. <laughs> so Greco, much... Greco, Greco's will actually come up to Borky and just hold his shoulder as, as he does it. This cost me so much damn money, Greco's. I know it does, Borky. We'll, we'll, listen, we'll pay you back when we can. Gentlemen, cry your hearts out later. We need to start moving. We can do cry. both! Borky uh, says Pick cry. up the heads, everybody. <clears throat> I have yep. a suggestion. So... It seems like they have pretty heightened senses. Uh, I suggest we smear the werewolf blood all over us. Okay. Oh, gross. Then it will mask our sense. Oh, that's good. Okay. Would it not I, can I roll a survival check to see if that will actually fly? Sure. Go ahead and roll a survival check. I mean, it makes sense, but it's still gross. 18. If any of that blood gets in, any of your guys' wounds, you could also contract like hemptherapy, so probably no, not task, the best task, idea. Well, let's like just ru well, let's rub it on our shoes or something. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's li Listen, listen. Let's just use mud. Mud if, would be better. Even if we or... smell like werewolf, all we're going to do is get more kind on our tail. If we smell like earth, then nothing will come of it. Exactly. Borky, um, mm -hmm. Borky pretty much picks up Rat, who's like, cha I'm guessing he's being like, how is he being chained up real fast? I would just say behind the back and just the arms. All right, yeah. Borky just picks him up and puts him on over his shoulder. <laughs> uh, let's get moving. Someone mum me up. We got to move now. This is already lit. 
It's only right. temporary, Rat. Sorry we had to do this, but... Uh, mm -hmm. it's, in case, uh, it's in case you go all feral or something. Uh, yeah. Well, while that goes on, Greckles is going to get all muddy, like a mud hen. Oh, yeah. no, and I just shaved last week. You just you remember, guys Rat. grab and turn? smear mud on yourselves. Just are you guys gonna that. stay on the? Are you guys gonna stay on the road path? Or are you gonna just kind of stay off to the side of the road? I assume you don't want to go into the the woods. That's we're, no, we're not going into the woods. Not the dense woods. I'd like to go into the woods and make loud noises and say "fuck wolves." Cats are better. <laughs> <laughs> A were tiger shows up. Oh, I want. I want to do what Wooly did in the ghost forest, but Borky oh, in the wolf God. forest. <laughs> uh, Fuck you, bitch ass um, dogs. <laughs> Uh, after after mudded, I assume that we're gonna just kind of get near the tree line, guys. Is that what we're doing? Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. So now, are you gonna are you gonna move at a slow pace, a moderate pace, or a fast pace? Oh, I'm I'd, stealthing. I'd like to me? stealth as well. It's just that yeah. I'm afraid of a straight twenty to happen again. Okay. Uh, slow pace then. I need everybody to make a group stealth check together. Oh, so what, 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 what technically counts as Scooby Doo tiptoeing? Uh, <laughs> slow pace. Okay. I just want to make sure what's up. Okay, wow. 16. Here we go. <laughs> Stealth. Come on, Borky. That's a tw That's oh, soft 20. 29. Very nice. The only person who didn't roll so well is Panny, but it was a group check. So you guys passed the group check. You guys walk along <laughs> the tree line, and as the sun begins to wane over the hills, nightfall truly descends upon you. Um, you can see the cre you can see the moon during the day, so that's why you can see the moon earlier. Don't I, I just I, I I I don't even fucking wait. I make sure Rat's face is facing the ground. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. why he's over the rat. shoulder. Borky, Borky, do not flip him under any circumstance. Borky just rat? Borky pats Rat's ass. Don't worry, I got him. Gonna go I got him. <laughs> no. No. As you guys, as you guys no. are moving forward, this is important. As you guys are moving forward in in the grass, you do hear the sounds of of heavy breathing and of rushing through the woods. You guys freeze it against a tree, and you see a person walking, a very large man walking, and just kind of turn his eyes. And you know when you hit light onto a, like an animal of the night. Oh no! Oh fuck! Spot, you slowly turn and you watch as its eyes refract and it scans the tree line and just. Brings his nose up to the air, and then you see a second werewolf, a third werewolf, a fourth, a fifth, and then you see about five more run in as wolves, and they stop and they go, "What do you smell?" Nothing. And you watch as his form pops and stretches as he becomes this massive wolf, and they begin to run towards the carriage, which now the billowing smoke has seemed to have caught all the attention. You are howling from the left and right. And then as you guys begin to move at a far distance, and as the howling goes off, Victor, I need you to roll another wisdom saving throw. Ooh, motherfucker! No, oh, no. no. <laughs> Now, rats, just remember, what? if you turn, I'm sexier alive than dead. <laughs> <laughs> you focus on the ground, and you bring your head to the circus. Oh. The crowd cheering. Yeah, no, I, I... You can't be a werewolf to do that. Yeah. No a, werewolf a different, a different moon, a different moon. You managed to stay as yourself for the night. Monty, I swear to God, I thought you were going to reply with <laughs> man flesh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is where we will take a break. Yeah. All right, sweet. Uh, I need to go to the bathroom so bad. I'll be right I wanted back. to. I wanted to. Gr I wanted to crap. Rat so much, Grandma had to shake him, shake him by the shoulders. <laughs> Disengage! Why are you like this? Oh God, I'm Remy. Oh my God, uh, what has happened? Uh, I'm Panic so was sad, trying to get a word in several tired. times. <laughs> oh, I just, I just wanted to say that last thing. I'm, yeah. I'm so, you're alive and dead. Oh, man. I, uh, I apologize for freezing up there. I have never done so much damage in one roll. That kind of scared me. That was nuts. Jesus. Uh, oh right. man! I'm right. I'm gonna go put this away. I'm gonna get some water. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go get some water too. And the shirt is coming off. Oh, hot. Mm. Oh jeez. Oh, that's what I get for trying to trying to be all redemptiony. I guess. Trust me. I know. I know. <laughs> I. <gasps> I tried the exact same thing with the United Clergy of Orin on a boat that was sinking, and well, <laughs> that's that's how we got last arc. Oh boy! Oh boy! 
Oh. Monty, why? Oh. You Mis unchained it! Well, yeah, I did, because I wanted, I don't know. You know Missouri man every, arrested for every, lewd? You know, rap, oh, believes there's, rap believes there's good in everyone. Oh, you're, that, that tune will change real quick. You <laughs> pal around with us long enough, oh, that will change. Uh, We're all assholes no, here. Buddy. No doubt. No doubt. Put <laughs> cat calling me in the chat. What? <laughs> the Missouri, Missouri man arrested. Oh no, I'm Missouri man. <laughs> oh, I have to compete with Ohio man and Florida man. God, I am I am no good at acting on the spot. I'm a horrible improviser. <laughs> oh no worries, join the club. It's a skill that can be improved. That's true, but I need opportunity to do it, and I yeah. have not. I've been thinking of taking an improv class purely for D and D. Bane required concentration. Though. That's right. Well, don't tell Monty. <laughs> it wouldn't be D and D if we uh, look overlooked one mechanic at least. I love Easter simply because of Cadbury cream eggs. Ooh, you oh, lucky bastard! Mm. I got two boxes of them. That's you too actually, much sugar you actually for me. Get to eat. Heck you! Oh yeah, we're on break, huh? Yep. Yeah, we are. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a cookie, a single cookie that I baked myself from scratch. Mm -hmm. You guys, That's sexy. Your, you guys, and you're eating sugar and also bread, which I, mean, I can I do also, neither of. I have crackers. I do not have food. Connor. Hmm. Huh? Do you not have food? No, I'm on a diet. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought like okay. You scared me there for a minute. I do have food, okay. but I can't have sugar or bread. I can have meat nope. and cheese. So you can't eat food. Got it. Right. For essentially, unless that food is steak. You just eat a lot of chicken, dude, and fish. Fish is really good. I know. I know fish is mm. good. We don't. We don't have any. We don't have any fish. Really? You should get some. You should get some salmon. Um. God, what else? Freaking mackerel is wonderful. Mm. You can't even have, like, whole wheat bread? I can't have any bread. I can't have any carbs on the keto diet. Oh, okay. I You're am back, bread. everybody. How you all doing? Well, hi, we're, we're doing good. Uh, I'm sorry bar. in advance if I eat anybody. No, it's okay. It's okay. I got, we got you chained up on our porky yeah. shoulder. Because there's anything in the 1400 bits, every vehicle is cursed. Probate. <laughs> Except for the first cart. The first cart we ever rode in, that was blessed. Mm -hmm. I honestly thought Greckles would get cursed, but I thought there would be only one curse. Joe, you stuck <laughs> your hand in the wolf's mouth and it bit you. <laughs> literally. Quite literally. That's what you get for being nice. <laughs> yes, Duckles, it is keto. On the bright side, I've lost 30 pounds. Congrats, Hardcore, dude. Oh, congratulations. Question, oh, yeah. do, do, do you have that bad breath thing that sometimes happens with keto? Because that's when you know it's really working. Um. <laughs> now he's sensitive. Sometimes. Go. Sometimes. <laughs> no, no, it's sometimes. I mean, I mean, whenever you're in ketosis, you have like sort of like a sickly sweet breath for whatever mm -hmm. reason. Yep. Hello, everyone. I have returned with... I breathe out the fat. That's right. <laughs> oh, man. Is that actually how it works? No. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I wish I could. I'd be like... <laughs> all the oh. fucking time. So oh. would it congeal like a cloud, or would it oh. come out solid? We're actually... I, I want to... Can I, can I quote something that I, thought, I just read that was hilarious? Real fast? Mm. Nintendo says they haven't gotten any faxes complaining about their online service, so there's no problem, guys. It's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny. There's no, there's no issue. Uh, we got 300 bits from the Tom. Six uh, bad rats, bad fur day. Oof. <laughs> Evian oh. fan thing with 100 bits. Burnout bomb with 100 bits. Thank you so much, dude. Effective seat with 300 bits. I recently posted a sketch of Greckles as MVP. I want to see this. Relator. Right Thank you for the sub. Renfield with 500 bits. Great show, guys. Thank you so much, Phil Chandler. Thank you for the bits. Vince Bokes Audio. Thank you so much. Cat calls to Connor. Oh my. Evian fan thing with 100 bits. Uh, crazy, crazy like a fox. Thank you for the seven month resub. Blackfoot Ferret with 500 bits. Edward Bosco has new emotes. Yes, he does. 500 bits from Neko Girl 862. Joke, I love your content and your crap guide to DD is helping me get my fiance into DD. Also, takes the meat, also, talk of the meat house is real. What? 
I know, I've been in <laughs> Dallas. Neko Girl is 862, oh. thank you so much. <laughs> Portal Jumper with a 500 bits as well. The user for that sick two best friends play, Paul. Long live Willy Verse. Long live Willy, Willy Versus. Agreed. Oz195, thank you for the sub. Fury Melek, thank you for the sub. Queen Elfie one with a thousand bits. Welcome to the best D&D stream ever. Thank you for your contributions to the Unexpectables. Your character is magnificent. A Grim Last Prime, 500 bits. Hey guys, gonna start a new campaign in the future. And thanks to Zito introducing me to the Saurians, I'm going to do a Raptor Rogue. I was wondering what your opinions are on being a scaly dark thief or brightly colored feathery arcane trickster. Well, that's up to you. Why would you ever go feathers? What the fuck? Who wants it? <laughs> Feather dinosaurs are like the worst. Wiz no, you have to go scales. You, we are scalies in this house. One okay, year, one um, year. Uh, TDK, 47, thank you for the three so months. And then, and then Joe's just like... <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> I, I will, I will, I will proudly be the minority in here and say fuck you all. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> with the feathers as well. There's dinosaurs with one. feathers are rad as hell, and you're all wrong. Oh, we are. And oh, never we are. Like are the we Joe? They're dumb and silly, and they call hey, me names. Hey, you know what? I, I That's mean, fun. yeah, but what's your point? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you know. Miss, Mr. All Rogues are edgy. I started out that way, but I found God damn now, it. See, now you see did. here, you Mr. Range just play fighter with a bow. It's way better, little shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, when I make my my Dinosaur 2 movie, to, to the sequel to Disney's hit movie Dinosaur, oh, God, they're no. all gonna have feathers. And they're all gonna have swords and shields. Yes, all of them. If the monkeys don't have feathers, I will be disappointed, Joe Cat. Yes, is, every, is, everybody, is everybody back? Or we got everybody back? I Bro, think so. With a Goodbye. thousand Goodbye. bits. How dare you besmirch the name of fuzz the name of fuzzy dinos? What thousand bits? Probate, see me in the ring. I want you. And oh my god, defective sheep! Whoa! Defective sheep RKOing the bit boss out of nowhere! Defective sheep with 14,000 bits! Whoa. Holy shit, Defective Sheep. Oh, Newt's God. out for Defective Sheep. Thank you so much. Yeah. And Zach will do gifting us up to Tiki the Troll. Welcome back, Tiki. But Defective all Sheep, right. thank you for the 14,000 bits. Hall, hail the new bit boss. <laughs> God damn. Okay, let's get going, because time is of the essence. You want to tickle your opponents to death with your feathers? <laughs> all right. <laughs> As the night consumes the forest and the rain begins to start to increase the distance up ahead is hard to see at this point you guys have maybe been traveling for about five hours in the depths mm. of this woods going at a slow pace a stealthy pace you've eluded packs upon packs of werewolves that have been descending closer to the fire that you guys had started and eventually you do not hear the howls anymore you don't hear the sounds anymore and you believe that you are on your way to safety mm. i Task? suggest we oh I would like you, as you guys are moving silent task, I would like you to make a perception check because you're really the best Mon Monty, real quick, can, is she crackling for anybody else? No. No. Okay. Okay. It's, I'm going to jump out and jump back. You in, said right? no, Monty. <laughs> oh. I'm going to jump well, out yeah, and jump right back. <laughs> Continue. All right. Um, I'm on the wrong page. So what was I rolling We all got to get on the same page, guys. Perception. Seven. You see two lights off in the distance. You can't tell what color they are due to the dark vision. There's no, there's no color with dark vision, but mm. they seem to be approaching. I, I motion to everyone to fucking hide, stand still, and let the lights come to us. Okay, I need everybody to roll a stealth check again. Okay. Is this group or individual? Uh, I'm say for this one, it's gonna be individual. Uh, now, does, since Borky's carrying, uh, v v Victor, I mean. <laughs> It's still, these guys still have to roll strength, stealth checks. I mean, uh, Victor, Th you're trying to keep the chains quiet. 13. Yeah. Okay. Borky, as you kind of get low into the bushes, you hear something moving ahead, up above you, and you kind of turn, you look, and you say a stark white raven with red eyes. How big? Leaning its head, about the size of a raven. Kind of leans and looks at you and goes, Ah! <gasps> And you begin to hear as this carriage is approaching from the opposite side of the road. You see two horses in armor, but as you get a closer look, they're not horses. They appear to be phantoms. Phantom horses. Phantom steeds. I hate this place! <laughs> Thanks, I hate it! I fucking hate this place! 
wearing what looks like some sort of silver steel armor. And there's a coachman with a with a long brim hat kind of holding on to the reins and thick leather gloves. And it pulls on the reins and shh, the horses kind of <clears throat> kind of stop and turn. And as they emit steam, it's almost like flame. This twisted, beautiful, silver framed carriage, about twice the size of the ones you guys got, stops on the road right next to you. Mm. Away, away! Hello, I am Strahd. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> um, oh my God. Okay. What's going on? Fuck up. <laughs> There's smoke can be horses too. Pass does not fucking move. I'm gonna wait and see whatever yeah. that comes out of this. Cause I'm sorry, you have nightmares. <laughs> you best tell me why I should trust you. Yeah. We're not moving. Borky We're not moving. Yeah, no. Borky sneezes. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the door opens slowly. And out steps a woman. Oh. About late 30s, early 40s. Uh, long black hair. Very well, well kept. Um, and a set of glasses sitting on the frame of her nose. Almost like Willow, weirdly enough. But like more serious strong uh facial features and, and the hair is much longer much more flat more kept um she wears a a close um penguin tail almost like tuxedo jacket uh victorian jacket with a uh beautiful bow cravat that comes down uh to about her chest um and she swings out a cane uh, the head of which appears to be a, a raven. <gasps> and it seems very close to your whistle, rat. Can I see? I, I, I assume I'm over Borky's shoulder, so I might, I don't know if I'm like looking. You're looking under my arm right now, I think. <laughs> I think you're like, because I got my arm. You're under the crook of your, you're in the crook of Borky's arm, like he's holding you at your side, because he okay, holds on cool. your shoulder, they can see you. Always wanted um, to be carried. And you watch as. With just a simple gesture of her fingers, the door eh, closes. I, I just kind of like like nod my head in the direction like to 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 my allies, just like take a look at that. You know, we all we all look at we're like nodding. Yeah, yeah, we know we see it. Ah! Does the raven see us? The raven's looking at you guys. Yeah, uh -oh. looking at you, Borky. Mm. You watch as the raven's form shifts and moves. <gasps> eventually to that of a human person. Oh, thank God, vampires. They <laughs> have long, almost a similar, almost past their butt, long white hair, pure white hair and skin, and their clothes are also white. The only color on them are the eyes, which are just pure red. And these teardrop almost markings under the eyes of a scarlet hue and their lips. Are they, is, is, is this person standing on the branch with no problem? They're, cr they're crouching on the branch with no problem, currently looking down at all of you at this point. Uh, these um, are probably where? Guys, people. Borky just points up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see it. Uh, uh, Bo Borky. I have a whistle in my yeah. back pocket. Okay. It looks a lot like a cane. May, mayhap, it might be a good time to blow it. Borky, just without look, still uh, without yeah, yeah. looking away from the guy standing above, just Borky starts feeling around your back pocket. <laughs> like, <laughs> just, uh, Borky grabs it out. Do I blow it? Do you blow it? I, I don't know. Borky lightly, you, you very, it. Borky very lightly goes into it. Like a light little... Uh, I would like you to make a athletics check for me, Borky. <laughs> athletics? Okay. Yeah. What? 17! Nope. You watch as the moment you, your lips touch that whistle, that white, uh, the white-haired individual collides down and you just see a spray of feathers erupt. And before you can even blink, you look and the whistle's gone from your hand. And you watch now as the bushes in front of you have all been cut. 
And you are currently standing and all hiding, still crouched in front of this woman <laughs> who is currently standing with one arm in her coat and the other arm on the cane. <coughs> uh, Porky just kind of gets up. Uh, uh. Well, uh, that was certainly something. I pressed the digitation, all the mud off of me. Okay. E evening, madame. Out for a ride? It seems that way. Oh, shit. He talks like me. So, <laughs> Must be a thing in this And ride. you look, you watch as the white-haired individual is just kind of looking over the whistle, almost analyzing it. This belonged to my sister. I believe we are getting close, master. And Quilly just tucks it into their own jacket and then gives you a bit of a look, rat. I, uh, I, I give her, like, a very nervous smile and, and nod, just like a, a greet. Another friend of yours? You really are popular, aren't you, Rat? I have. I don't recognize her, do I? No, you don't. Uh, nice to meet you. I, I promise I didn't. I, I found that on the side of the road. They I walk right. They like. Anyone. They kind of like crouch down and almost like a bird, almost kind of like shuffle close to you, um, and like get right up into your face as you're in the crook of art, in the crook of Borky's arm, like right close to their face. It's hard to tell whether they're male or female. They might not be either. Um, they're an elf, it looks like, with the long pointed ears. Um, and they look into you and the eyes just go right through you. Like, it's, it's this uncomfortable feeling. Yeah. I, I really just close. slowly move my head back, just like trying not to... Get you turtleneck, you try to pull your yeah, neck. Yeah, yeah. And the more you pull in, the more they get closer. Oh. Oh, I... it's, like, it's like that seal tucking its neck in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, my, like my, my collar is like covering my mouth. Well, I, I guess I always did want some good attention. Where did you find this? On the side of the road, I promise. It was just lying there and I thought it looked pretty. It would make a nice trinket. The watch immediately as their head whips around to the, uh, the woman with the black hair and goes, they are not lying, they are telling the truth. <sighs> the black haired individual kind of looks and goes, so? What is all of you lot doing out here on this fine night? Running from werewolves. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, we was out and about, and we uh, got stopped and uh, had a dispute with some of the locals, and uh, they're dead. So uh, we're still moving. Ain't that right? Uh, pa panic, Task, and Greckles. Task has all the heads like ra uh, around like his belt. Oh, I thought we would have put them in the handkerchief. <laughs> Task holds them aloft like that one guy from 300. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Task, has, Task has like his hand sitting on the hilt of his so of his sword, but he shows the heads. The uh, the the one who at this point all of you would realize is a is a were raven. Mm -hmm. um, once again, does the exact same thing that they were doing with with rat, but instead is doing with the heads, like analyzing each one, examining each and every face. And they go, "That is not one of them." And turns back to the black-haired individual. It seems not, and I can tell that you are not from Tracadia. At least, not all of you. Looks kind of gives you a look, panic. Eh. Uh, you got me. <laughs> Greckles, Greckles steps forward and gets down on one knee, best he can. My lady, that, sir, we're simply looking for an individual to take back home. Countess. Countess, my apologies. I am Countess Beatrix. Ooh, uh, Rat, hey. I would like you to roll a history check for me. Oh, shit. All right. What? what? 17. Countess Beatrix is the daughter of the vampire lord who <laughs> ruled over Tracadia before he was killed. Uh, I oh, know God! That, would I know that as well? Nope. Porky just ah. goes, who that? <laughs> well, no, only Rat knows this. Yeah, only Rat I'm knows joking, this. Joking, I'm this. Huh. Countess. What? What's an honor to be in your presence? Hmm. I can tell that many of you are outsiders. Must be an There's Eastern thing. Hmm. You must be not near the base of the mountains. Yeah, from the north. Hmm. We have not conquered the north at all as vampires. She kind of gives you this grin and you see the two teeth. Oh. <laughs> right. You sure have. 
I, I whisper I whisper to Borky, I assume she there's a yet in there. I just I just I'm so scared of saying the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot tell you're not from Tricadia. Oh, because wait. you are similar to me and my companion Snow. As you are outsiders to these lands. Yes! Of course, we, we have no strife with your people, Countess. We're simply trying to find our way. To which way are you going? Oh. Uh, that way. I point the way we're going. <laughs> <laughs> Countess, uh, forgive me. We were heading westward looking for uh, our individual. I thought we were heading eastward. You're heading eastward, yes. Yeah, we're heading Sorry. East. eastward. Sorry. Came ah. from the west. That's right. So you're going to that human town. Yes, ma'am. Yep, yep, yep. Task has not said a fucking thing. <laughs> I have a proposition for you. Okay. Now the now the last time someone said that to panic. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> just like ears perked down. Task lost, just narrows his eyes. I lost half my movement speed. <laughs> oh Jesus. Joe Cat doesn't know that. We should tell him so he has no context. <laughs> and excise and starts disrobing. <clears throat> Please, um, Borky kissed down on one knee. Uh, elaborate with him on the shoulder. Elaborate, <laughs> elaborate, lady. Countess. Countess. Flawless, Borky. Thank you. How about the exchange of sorts? This whistle actually belongs to my friend Snow here. And you watch as the were raven is kind of like is fidgeting with the whistle and is kind of looking at the rest of you. Very, like, very like the head twitches around a lot. Very bird like. Mm -hmm. I believe it is appropriate for them to keep it, but of course I know that you humans value jewelry and other frivolous things. No, of course, uh, keep it all you want. It was your possession in the first place. I have no right to take anything that was previously someone else's. It is all yours. Just trying to be as respectful as possible, and just like... Ugh. Finding this item means we must return to this human village just for a quick visit. If you oh. would like, seeing as two of you seem to be carrying weapons, if you entertain me and my daughter, I will give you a ride to the village so you do not get ripped apart by werewolves. Truly. Um, uh, a whistle most, for passage? Most kind of you, uh, Countess. I am unlike uh, my father. I do enjoy you mortals time to time again. Uh, mm. If I may be so bold, um, there is actually a small matter that involves the werewolves. You see, our friend here was actually bitten by one. You during... watch as uh, the were-raven kind of like immediately goes back and looks right at you again, Rat, and your chin goes back in. We <laughs> were wondering if you perhaps had anything to help his condition. It hasn't been very long since the battle, but... Hmm. The were-raven kind of looks close and goes, He's half-baked, meaning that it's only been for a few hours. The weeks that follow are the most painful, and then after a month, the curse is permanent. Permanent? Permanent. Permanent. <laughs> Please. I'm sure some human in the human village could help you for a price. Mm -hmm. The account just kind of goes, Unfortunately, making people not monsters is not exactly what vampires do. But your offer for safe passage is more than enough, Countess. Yeah, yeah, I, we are incredibly grateful. Thank uh, you. Uh, my, my, my Countess, my, myself and my compadres, may we have a simple a minute to speak about your enticing offer? You may have this moment, but if any funny business is to occur, I, may, I wouldn't try it. I am... Task finally speaks up, though. Before that, <clears throat> what did you mean by entertain? Music. Dancing, oh. acting. Ah, well. Rat's eyes light up. Well, then, my Countess and I, I slap uh, Rat on the ass. You have come, <laughs> you have come across <laughs> the, uh, you have come across quite a treasure trove. 
You see, <laughs> me and my friend here happen to be some of the best bards in the land. Why, of course, Countess, have you ever heard of the Moonkite Circus? I am aware of this Moonkite Circus. I believe I have attended one time, perhaps a while ago. Uh, oh, uh, a while ago, you say? Uh, how, how, how long a while ago? 200 years, maybe. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. I mean, wow, what a... You are a fantastic customer. We appreciate your patronage. Borky My says, daughter is mostly the biggest fan of this circus. I can, I can play the piano. <laughs> it's true. Perhaps, Perhaps, you, do it. Perhaps you can accompany us. I happen to be Panic Grimtongue, famous guitarist. I've never heard of you. <laughs> yeah, probably not. How much psychic damage all right, does all it right. take? I, that doesn't <laughs> in fact, if you had heard of me, it would probably be bad things, but... Okay. So, group huddle? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I feel like this is our best bet. This, uh, this, I mean, uh, yeah. we above, we above nice. game, we're above game right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah guys, this is, it's, it's this or more werewolves. I'm, I'm up for this. Yeah, let's... I, don't, I don't like this idea of getting into... In, I don't like the idea of getting in bed with vampires, but this is the best way for us I to do. travel, so yeah. I also do. Vampires are hot. <laughs> uh, uh, in the of panic, don't seduce the countless. <laughs> Just try and stop me. No, no, I am. I will. I will. I will. I will kick down that door and throw you through a window. I will do oh, it. No. I, I personally hate this idea, but I know un for you know for us to move ahead, we're obviously getting in the carriage. Yeah. Uh, so I guess I guess uh, all in agreement then. Yeah. yeah. We all going with this. Yeah. A ring in performance for passage sounds like a fair trade. We are. Intimidating freaking daughter of we the. King of vampires or yeah, whatever. We all, which we, means we all, that she's very well protected. Which we, means yeah, I'm guessing we, we turn. Are. Do we turn in sequence? Se sequence. <laughs> At this point, when you yes. all turn and look, uh, Snow, the were raven, is now currently and now a raven again, and is sitting on her shoulder. As she's just like both hands on the cane, looking towards the rest of you. As you guys are all in this big circle. Yeah, that's gonna be great. Let's do it. Yeah, then except... please be my guest aboard my father's. Carriage. Hmm. Oh. Would fit all of us on, on, on up, above it's game. Very what? small, but she's letting you guys in. So uh, I guess good. Borky's going to be hanging onto the back. Probably right. some weird space magic. As you go inside of it, you are correct. Uh, it appears to be an extra-dimensional space, or at oh. least a sort of magical space. Oh. Oh. Uh, inside, inside is about the size of maybe like uh, I don't even know what to compare it to, like a classroom. Okay. Like can fit about thirty students. It's not like huge, huge, but there's like a there's like a front space. High right. school or elementary, because that actually could be the defining factor. Uh, let's go with like high school, middle school. Uh, okay. What 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 uh what class? It's not a defining factor. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> math math. Class. No no. We'll we'll oh, take the werewolves. Dead. We'll take the werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, inside is each wall is 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 embellished with velvet like almost like curtain or drapery. Um, there appears to be two coffins inside. One about the Baroness, the 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 uh, the Countess's sire, um, and there appears to be an L-shaped couch, um, a pile of books and other things, um, and you see like a, an invisible force playing a, a violin. Um, and inside you see a younger woman, maybe like six, seven, eight years mm. old, a uh, little girl um, with similar black hair to the mother, mm. uh, pulled back into like a, like a ponytail, uh, similar glasses, except for the, like, they're like three sizes too big. So she's got these <laughs> giant glasses on, a uh, little bit of like the buck teeth, uh, like the fangs are growing in kind of funny. And she's like currently her nose is in a book. Um, as you guys enter, who is last to enter? Me. You. Uh, task, roll a perception check for me real fast. Oh, Task hates this so much. <laughs> <laughs> 10. It's oh, perfect. 10. That's, that's just what you needed. As you go in to enter, you look at the jockey, and the jockey slowly turns, and there's no one there. It is just a hat and an invisible <laughs> force wearing an outfit. Oh, I love just, that! You feel just a shiver run down your spine as you were just like, fuck, can you make your way inside? I just... Fuck! <laughs> Walk in! <laughs> Shut up! Walk inside! <laughs> okay. 
You see, this oh. is the only thing I missed about Turcadia. We have some freaking style. Mm. Yeah, it's, yeah, bigger on, it's, big, it's, it's bigger on the inside. It's crazy. And I've got to say, Countess, you've got an eye for presentation. Oh, should we unchain him now? All three of you, all three of you roll charisma checks. Oh, shit. Okay. okay. Wait. Nice, 21. 21. Hey, buddy. That's, that's a, a save. That's a save. Oh, that's a save? Roll Thank check. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Go! Seven. <laughs> Seven. She finds Borky a little brutish, but she seems to find the compliments from the bars rather nice. <laughs> and she sits down. Uh, uh, she nudges the little girl who just kind of is completely like, you, you notice now that she was asleep. She kind of, uh, like, kind of like, like, bleary eyed, looks up and like, are we sees there yet? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, the countess goes and uh, kind of grabs her shoulder and goes, oh, This is my daughter, Molly. Hello, Molly. Pleasure to meet you. Hello, Molly. What are you reading there? Um, uh, The Adventures of the Daring Mr. Salamander. Do I know this book? Uh, roll a knowledge history. Oh, shit. Uh, history. Twelve. Twelve. It's a children's book. You haven't read it yourself. It came out, you know, for children when you were an adult. Um... Mm -hmm. But based on the cover, it appears to be some sort of like um, like adventure book of some sort. Mm -hmm. uh, she kind of like puts it down and she's just like, oh, are they Bart's? And the countess sits down and just like so poised crosses her legs and goes, yes, I believe that they are. Uh, allow me. And you watch as the countess swings her hands and uh, the violinist kind of dissipates into smoke. And the other side of the room, the uh, coffins disappear and then rising up as a stage. Ooh. This <laughs> room was made with my father's particulars in mind, but as I have inherited his blood, I can control it just the same. I can make the horses look as I wish, the rider to look as the jockey to look as I wish, and the insides to accommodate whatever I would like. Hmm. This, is so much, this is so much nicer than the one I paid a lot of gold for. God damn it. Well, we'll get we'll get it back, big guy. No, it's gone. We burned it. Yeah. Plus, plus we got these werewolf heads. That's yeah, true. <laughs> uh, well, what are you waiting for? Uh, panic. Come on, crack his knuckles. Shall we? All right. We watch, shall. I have to de-chain him. One second, Porky. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Hey, <laughs> just one second. Real, real quick. Oh yeah. You see, you oh, see, no, you see it's it. not just the vampirism. He's such a great bard. We have to like contain his energy. So Porky starts <laughs> untaining the lycanthropo. I don't know. He could probably do a pretty funny jig. <laughs> All right, Porky takes the chains off. You were bitten by a vampire. Off. I thought you were bitten by a werewolf. I was about to say. <laughs> God, that guy. Look at that guy. Did I say that? Yeah, yeah, you, you, said, said, you, said, you said vampirism. I, did, I, I didn't think I said that. Oh, jeez. Um, that, you, no, did. you did. You yeah. totally did. Sorry, lycanthropy. Didn't mean, I didn't mean to offend. Borky uh, unfinishes <laughs> the chains and kind of just lightly tosses rat onto the stage. Rat the stage. Yeah, you just like toss him onto the stage. It's, like, rat. it's about the same size as the Sweet Dragon stage. So like a little like that like talent show stage, like a little one. Porky finds a chair um, and sits in it very quietly. Now you guys have a choice here. You can either do your own individual performance checks, or you can come together as musicians and give one person advantage. Everyone or those two? Those two. Okay. Those, the two bards. I'd say we come together. Yeah, come together right now. Yeah. Over, uh, me. over me. Over me. <laughs> ding. ding. Yeah. Now, what, what kind of, what between the two of you, what kind of song will you perform? Uh, guys, let me in on this. I, I can help. <laughs> Uh -huh. his knuckles. Can we wait? Can we flavor it as not just a song but also an act? Like, can we like oh, yeah, yeah, act yeah. out like a scene as we play, as we're like pantomime characters? Pantomime. Absolutely. Uh, yes. yeah. We'll we'll do a do a little uh, do a little story about uh, about a brave adventurer. Yeah, yeah. Brave adventurer. The brave adventurer, and I'll provide the backup accompaniment. Yeah. Is so. it just going to be one or both of you acting? Uh, how about both? Like, like he'll he'll play. He'll come in and like do like interpretive movements that could be like, let's say, if like, oh, the dragon breathes a fire, and then like he comes in and like lifts his guitar up and like whoosh in like a glowing ah, yes, like motion. A I can I can also add prestidigitation to the act as well. Yes, yes, okay. yes, so, yes. And so, I have dancing so lights. So we're, rolling, so we're rolling individually then, right? Okay. Yeah, I would say with this one, 
roll three. Yes, Scott. Uh, yes. Sorry, I'm. Ch- I was like, I can help. Let me help. It's um, kind of a bard. I, I kind of wanted to let these guys have like a little mission. I know. I no, 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 no. I'm not gonna be there. I'm just gonna add. Yeah, things. input. Um, so I will add a uh, percussion to their music using minor illusion. And <laughs> if you guys need a dragon or anything else like that, I will pop in a silent image. Uh, whatever you need. I mean, I have yeah. major image, so major. <laughs> okay, it's the right. Major is bigger than minor. You can keep a beat with Meyer and Illusion, so I will let that happen. So, All right. so I'm going to say you're going to do three acts of this All right. to complete the, the ride. Um, so who would like to make the first roll with advantage? Go for it, boys. Mm, uh, it's, uh, I, don't, I, I guess I'll go first. Sure. All right. Okay, with advantage. Oh, 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 16. 16. Nice. A slow beginning of your guys' story, and you watch as Emily kind of kind of tosses the book aside and leans forward as the Were Raven Snow sits on her lap. You begin to tell this tale, weaving these images and this low, subdued music. Then all of a sudden, next performance check who wants to do it. I'll do it. I thought yeah. her name was Molly. Oh Molly, sorry. <laughs> yeah. The daughter's name is Molly? Yes. yes. Molly. Eighteen. Nice. With advantage, so 26. Oh, 26, yeah. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Then suddenly a great beast arrives, and the percussion with you, Greckles, begins to rise in size. Um, I will say for this, do uh, you want to make an illusion to sell this? Absolutely. All right. Suddenly the serpent beast appears before this, this, this brave warrior played by rat and spits venom and begins to coil around his body, and all hope is lost as it brings around and the last, last breath comes to him. But next performance check. Ooh. Wait, 25. 25. 25. The hero triumphs and breaks through the lizard and it shatters into pieces. And Molly is just cheering and giggling and laughing. She absolutely loves it. And the countess kind of looks over with this very prideful sort of like glance over and then glances up to you and like kind of like the posh British clap claps for you. <laughs> um, like three fingers into the palm clap. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, very I, uh, I grab Panic's hand and do a, a group bow. Yeah, the I'll dead bow. serpent also kind of leers up and bows, too. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hyper claps all around, boys. Nice. <laughs> uh, good, you passed all your checks. They got harder each time, but you managed to pass all them with flying colors. We're very fucking cool. amazing. Uh, yeah, we are. As the trip continues, it actually continues for a while. And through the uh, can I make small talk with my companions while it does? Absolutely. The Countess doesn't really want to make conversation with you guys too much, <laughs> doesn't seem. Um, but you can absolutely talk amongst yourselves. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so, like, during downtime, I just uh, gather the unexpectables together. I will and, say uh, this will count as a short rest as well. Oh, okay, thank goodness. goodness. Oh, good. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. Fucking, all right, let me lo- roll. Hold on. Let me roll. Back, back up to full. Die. Uh, where, yeah. Where do I... Yeah, I've only done like two what? and a half reps. Wait, a what? Excuse oh, me? Oh yeah, I have negative oh, constitution. minus one constitution. Oh, no! oh that's good. <laughs> uh, Nothing happens. I'll, Nothing I'll happens. song of rest so we can spend some more. That's right. Do so- the song of rest stack? Ah. Uh, uh, it? Uh, it doesn't say. I'll, I'll, cl- I'll click song of rest. Uh, beginning at second level, you can use soothing music or oration to revitalize your wounded enemies for during a short rest. If you are any friendly creatures who can hear the performance, regain hit points. At the end of a short rest, by spending one or more hit dice, they gain an extra 1d6. Yeah. So you guys get 2d6 instead, I'll say. Yeah. I'm back up to full. You guys That's hit fine. the same harmony. It was amazing to listen to. <laughs> uh, all right. So that's four for me. Actually, that's a three because of my con. Uh, wait. Is... Wait, no, no. Never mind. It's just a regular d6. Okay. Yeah, there's no, no uh, constitution what, modifier to is that. Is it the same for everybody? Is it different for a bard? I, I mean, a, a barbarian. Yeah, you roll a d12. Yeah, you're all your constitution modifier. And right, two right. D6. So Sorry, gain two, two, yeah. two. So for each for you, hit die. For you, Kurt, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's actually a thing on it. It says hit dice next to your death saves below your, your temporary hit points. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll roll two D6. So you get healed for 11. 11? Ooh, I'll take that. Oh, I'm full. Right, I'm, I'm back good. up to I'm full. good. I'm up to full now. You're good? Perfect. I did not right. take that much damage that last fight. I'm not up to full, but I, I, I'll that's, be doing enough. That's because in true Unexpectables uh, routine, all of the bards are tanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah good job, boys. Yeah, good job. True. Whole team on our backs. Yeah. If I just all keep right. using defensive flourish, it's like I'm a tank. 
All right. All right. The um the countess would like to play cards with someone if someone has the ability to play cards. Uh, I would like to. I have game set. I have game set bone, so that doesn't work. Freckles has game set cards. Okay. Can Borky join uh, in too? Uh, do you have? Do you have proficiency in cards? No, Borky has terrible tells I don't, as well. I don't have proficiency in cards, but I do have mastery in deception. Yeah, <laughs> she wants someone who has proficiency in cards. Right, wants beans. To, Borky, Borky wants to watch that. You have. Do you have proficiency, Greckles? I yes, I do. You as a rogue. Okay. Yes, I do. So I'd like you to roll a uh, proficiency with cards. Against Yeehaw! Card. Oh, that's a nat 20! Whoa. Oh my god. You sent her to the Shadow Realm! <laughs> <laughs> that's the you thing, just... Countess. My Welcome. deck has no pathetic <laughs> cards. Second. No, no, no. For all intents and purposes, Greckles will be very humble. He's, he's around royalty, or what he thinks is royalty, so he's not going to be all... No, yeah. Puffy. Vampire royalty. Right? You natural, you natural 20 on a vampire, you get something nice. Okay, that's cool. Oh, damn. By the way, Greckles is taking every opportunity to hide the sun. <laughs> he just slap it down. <laughs> he looks up at her. Man, that's like when you draw five mana in a row, right? <laughs> <laughs> I pulled five aces. Wait. I got six aces, sir. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. To find something that Wanna play aces game. and eights? I got two of them too. Oh. <laughs> hey, does anyone have a Uno deck? <laughs> oh shit. That's the, that's the game you of have orcs. an Xbox. That's the game of orcs. Is Uno. <laughs> <laughs> and then Tash just rolls the dice, Yahtzee. <laughs> Yahtzee. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Uh, I'm just Pork over to there see playing what she rat trap. <laughs> oh. Hold on. Something's about to happen. Uh oh. Monty's digging something up here. Oh shit. Mo Molly like looks up. You have a limited edition gold foil Charizard? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we all got the gold. Who kept their gold foil Machamp? That's the big question. Yo, guys. right here. Oh, right here, too. I got Lord. that shit. It's still encased in the original packaging. Dude, Ooh. Blastoise was my first one. It was my first card ever, and it was holographic. All right. All right. As the night progresses, you earn. 50 Tricadian Gildans. Whoa! And a dagger. Ooh. Oh, what kind of dagger? Okay. The magical dagger. <gasps> no one knows. Because <laughs> it came to the point where you were kicking her ass, and she was just like all or nothing, and you all in, and then she's like, I'll give you something really cool. And okay. you got 20 It is a dagger of venom. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Ooh. Dude. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't you don't get the plus one bonus because it is a minor dagger of sure. venom, uh, but you can use an action to cause thick black poison to coat the blade. The poison remains for one minute or until an attack using this weapon hits a creature. That creature must succeed on a DC 15 Constitution saving throw or take 2d10 poison damage and become poisoned for one minute. Oh, fuck. that's okay. The dagger 2d10. 2d10 poison damage. Holy the dagger wow. can't be used this way until the next dawn. Okay, so it's a full day. Okay. This is like a like an assassin weapon. Right, right. One and done. Fuck. But it's it's a very nice blade. It What's... it has gold inlay. It is completely Ooh. made out of polished steel with a green emerald embedded in the side of it. The hilt is appears to be made out of stingray skin. Uh, oh. with the pommel at the end being a, a bronze with inlaid semi-precious stones. It is a gorgeous piece. Uh, Greckles will do the whole Eastern Isles, like, take two hands, bowing at the same time when receiving it. Yeah. Remember, the gambling is a loser's game. She kind of slaps down her hand. <laughs> <laughs> now, I believe we are at your destination. Oh, I wanted to, I wanted to have some small talk with my companions. Oh right, you do. Okay, we'll yeah, say this yeah. happens oh. after the fact. What's what's yeah. the DC? What's the DC on that, real quick? DC fifteen. Thank you. Constitution. Yeah. During okay. during the ride, I just uh, just just, you know, when the the companions are together, and I guess just having small talk and stuff, I uh say, you know, I've got to thank you all. I, I wanted to thank you just in case if I turn into a giant horrifying furry murderous rage creature. That I. I really have to thank you. I don't remember the last time someone tried to look out for me willingly, aside from Gulliver, but it's really quite refreshing. Well, thanks for getting us to that tavern, man. 
and um, yes. taking a lot and... of the attention away <laughs> for the werewolves. Yes, and speaking of the tavern, Greckles, you went out of your way to attempt to improve my reputation. No one's uh, ever done that for me before. Uh, don't think much of it. It's just me trying to do my job. Hmm. Well, you know, when, you're doing great. When I said you reminded me a lot of me when I was younger, I meant it. Back in northern Tracadia, I was often ostracized just because of what I am. And when I saw you, everybody <laughs> looking at you with just disdain in their eyes, I just wanted to change them. Oh, well, we're all misfits here. I mean, just look at you. Don't call us the Unexpectables for nothing. <laughs> it's true. I've... I do the have carry... to get something. Oh, sorry. sorry. I do carry... have to get... Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> thought... No, you go okay. through the door. <laughs> no, Cad, you may go first. Uh, okay, because I don't know how much time we have, but I don't, I don't want to, like, extend this too long. If, if, we're, if we're nearing an end. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Ahead. Okay. Uh, go ahead. And if this journey doesn't end so pleasantly, I I did want to confess I'm not actually part of Moonkite. I lied. I... <gasps> <laughs> well, you see, uh, unfortunately, I'm not, I'm not part of the circus. I don't travel with them because they banned me. And they banned me because I completely ruined an entire performance. And, uh... They say they never forget in Barcelona, and, uh, well, so from then point, that point onwards, uh, every day, it was, Oh, please don't talk to Victor, he might accidentally spit on you from yammering so loud. Oh no, don't hire Victor, he might accidentally break and ruin everything. Oh no, it's Victor, he's such a bothersome, insufferable little... Hmm. Uh, Borky just pats him on the back. Aye, for what it's worth, I didn't see the show, so I can't judge. <laughs> if it was me, I would just kill and eat them all. <laughs> oh. The Countess gives you a smile, this is joking. But... Thank you for well, your input. <laughs> yes. Wait. But for the, for the longest time, I was tired of reading stories, and I wanted to make my own and go do something amazing one day, but I guess... I screwed up again. Well, you got to perform for a vampiress. Uh, <laughs> you got uh, you got bitten by a werewolf, and you're slowly changing into a monster. That's fun. Uh, That's a good story. <laughs> That's and true. Hey. Now, none of these are lies, by the way. Yes. And hey, you have rat. four witnesses. We'll do our best to try and cure your lycanthropy, and when you get sick of this town, and you will get sick of it, trust me. <laughs> Uh, we'll see if I can open a spot up for you in the Sweet Dragon Tavern back in Alavast, the land of opportunity. Well, have, have you actually heard of that, Brad? Not once. <laughs> well, it's where but, we're from, and trust me, there's lots of adventures to be had there. That is a comforting thought. Thank you, all of you. The and carriage the comes to a halt. You hear the, the, the metallic horses kind of stamping at the ground. I believe that this is where the village center is. Mm. I appreciate the entertainment and the sore loss. Oh, Countess, it's, it's all luck. Mm. Talentura is on your side tonight. Yes. Uh, um, but Countess, best of luck with uh, what you're out and about. Uh, did Borky overhear her say uh, about like there? It's 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 my sisters. It sounded like they were looking for something. The the were ravens sisters. Yeah. I. Uh... It, looks like, it looks like it looks like the vampire is helping out the were raven with something. Uh, mm -hmm. Borky looks at the were raven. Best of luck finding the thing that you're looking for. I. You ever bump into us? We could help out. Ah. <laughs> um, Countess. Uh, uh, apologies for asking, but. Are there any, I guess you could call them feral vampires that we should be careful of? There are many vampire lords in Tracadia. You are very lucky to have come across me. I do not like to feast upon mortals. It is not really my thing unless I am 
quite starved, or if you perhaps had cheated in the card game or slighted me. <laughs> Realistic Heck sweats really hard. <laughs> Realistic grackles, eye bats left and right, left. But many of the creatures in Tracadia wish to have assimilation by force. Whether it be the werewolves or the vampires, the only ones who may become your friend are the were ravens. But they are very much swayed by fear and violence. How are they? My friends in oh. this village. Task will wait till everyone's. The, he's the last one out. And how are the were raven? And he turns and looks to her. And how are the were ravens on stealing gold? I believe that the werewolves that you have met have been putting them up to theft to catch the scent of those that they may pursue. You may have been a victim of such theft. Damn it! Birds do not believe to be in cages, but the werewolves think different. They see the were-ravens as lesser, more subjective people who can be easily oppressed into helping them with their evil pursuits. Sounds like the larger races with kobolds. Have a nice night, task leaves. All right, you guys step out. And the moment you step out, you're in the middle of a city square and it is empty. Ooh. Oh, oh, hmm. oh, it's a ghost town, good. Everyone's in trouble. And the door it closes and the horses gallop away. Uh, with the carriage oh, in tow. Uh, are any of the lights on in any of the buildings? Oh, yeah, there's, like, people looking outside. Mm. Like, I mean, from we the did, windows, the we bars. Did. You just rode in on a very I famous did, right? vampire's cage carriage. <laughs> <laughs> for, for all anyone Bork, knows, we put an anomaly that it's like an SCP. Borky, <laughs> Borky waves. Bye, Countess! <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, I, Rat fixes his hat and just kind of, like, dust himself off with a little bit of pride and just like there's a little no sniff well it's good to know we've got friends in high places it's true i thought they lived in caves though <laughs> oh by the way uh, sorry uh, out of character what does the city look like that we're looking at now uh hmm. it's similar to barcelette um more solid stone um the earth is more of a rock um with just carved in with cobblestone um, there's a giant fountain right next to you guys, like a large cascading fountain spraying water. Um, and a lot of houses. It's very a tight-knit house, uh, grouping of houses. But it appears to be smaller than Barcelette. There's no real significant large buildings. It appears to just be the fountain in the center, and the rest of it is all just housing. It looks to be like... You would know um, that... Um, I think it's called Brindle. What was it called? Brindle? Something or other? Shit. Brindle Spire? Brindle Spire, uh, yeah. Sure. By the by, Borky, you you feel uh, Grickle. Brindleshire. Um, Brindleshire. Brindleshire. You feel, you feel Brindleshire. His, his talon on your shoulder as uh, Grickles returns the cloak to you. Oh. Well, thank, thank you, you for that. that. Well, hold on to it. It's a new town. And they might think you're a were raven. Well, hmm. If, if you're sure. I mean, I could take another rock to the head. I'll be okay. <laughs> Man, all of us are just like a motley crew of this. The place's worst fears. Oh, <laughs> I know, right? We're not telling people he's a werewolf. An orc, oh, an orc, a raven, a, a tiefling, a kobold, and a scoundrel. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Wait, who's the... Oh, right. By the way, um. Oh, I'm flattered. By, by the way, Rat, real sorry about this. Borky pulls out the chains. Real sorry about this lad, but I'm gonna. Well, no, 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 no. no. Uh, what, what time of day is it? It's uh, it's like maybe like three or four a.m. right now. It's still, oh, right. It's still... Well, the sun's going to come out soon. I don't think werewolves can transform during the day. So, at least probably not like uh, like this early, right? You don't know. Plus, if we walk, uh. plus if we walk in to anywhere with like dude in chains. chains. Well, yeah. All right. Well, we're a little suspicious. Could, well, could give them the wrong idea. We're here to find. So we're here to find a guy who looks like a dude, and we also gotta maybe get him to a church so they can, you know, do the whole thing and not make him a puppy or whatever. Well, if, Borky, he had a name, didn't he? Yeah, we're looking for Pilchard. Uh, if you'll Pilchard. excuse me a second. Pilchard. Nice. Gre Greco's old reads on the robe, and once again, because Griffith Ravenholm. <laughs> there we go. Griffith Ravenholm. A.K.A. Dr. Weird Greco's. <laughs> <laughs> A.K.A. Human. All right, Normal. so are you guys going to go search? Yeah, we should probably try yeah. around. Uh, well, I wonder if there are any bars here. We should, I don't know, guys. It's 3, a, 3 to 4 a.m. Should we wait for stuff to open? Yeah, we should get, I, feel, I can't help but feel we should get him to a church 
and someone else should go look. We could like. Ah, uh, it's a good point, Cooper. We could, yeah. Why, oh, yeah. Why don't we? Why don't we just all go to the church? Because we're not gonna be able to find anything this early. Probably okay. not. Yeah. Okay. Right. You guys head Sounds up. Sounds like a plan. Uh, for the sake of expediency. Borky looks for a steeple. Uh, <laughs> you do find there is a there is a temple. Uh, it is a, a it is a temple to Ilone, oh. god the god of goddess of the moon. Oh. Uh, who you would know, not the biggest fan of were creatures. So the moment you guys come walking in, it is, Ironic. It is, it is 50 Circadian Gildens for a um, remove curse spell. 50? 50 Circadian Gildens. Uh, if I may, um, we don't know if there's a bounty on uh, werewolves, like full werewolves. Task holds up the heads. <laughs> 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 Maybe, have... we could, maybe we could sweeten this deal a little bit. I have roll 25 to pitch in. Just in... Roll, a, roll a persuasion check. Nine. Ooh. It is a set price. They are not budging on it. Fuck. Mm. All right, put the heads away. I'll, I'll, pop, them, <laughs> I'll pop them back into the... Listen, guys, guys, guys. Rever reverse, in reverse. <laughs> let's just let's just let's just say our new friend paid for this and greckles will drop the 50 fresh gildens all right you earned in cards the uh the priestess takes the money and gives you guys a very very nice scroll oh she also gives you a complimentary holy water of Ilone, so you can write that down all right cool i'll add that to my orin holy water uh told you to after uh after to using the remove curse spell is to is to w wipe yourself down with the holy water just to ensure the rest of the infection is oh gone. okay rub oh, it okay. deep into yeah. the pores <laughs> yeah it's, it's for it's for rats specifically like you know. okay sorry my bad my bad yeah that's cool exfoliate the curse it's like fucking dunking gatorade on the coach after a game <laughs> yeah basically so you cure them of coach right. anthropy you are much better. You feel much better. You don't feel oh, as okay. if you're going to suddenly rip someone's jugular out or slash them across the face. Mm. Oh god, he was going to turn into Vic Vitale if we didn't change <laughs> back. <laughs> oh boy. Watch madness, baby! You know, Greckles, you are a kind one. Well, like the rest of us, you get put down all your life. You try to make things better. Mm. I'll return the favor one day. Oh, you don't have to. Oh, all right. Um, maybe he <laughs> oh, no, let's not be hasty. Let's not be hasty, <laughs> holy man. <laughs> all right. So you guys are back out on the city. Where do you guys want to go? At this point, it's still, still 3, 3, 4 a.m. Is it's there like, an it's... inn that's open? Is there like a tavern that's open? Uh, there is, yes. You guys do notice one place in particular where all the other lights are out. Uh, there is one place near the edge of the fountain uh, called the Fountain's Break um, that appears to be not only open, but also seems to have a lot of people there. At this late at night, huh? Yep. All right, guys, let's, let's, he let's head in and have everyone awkwardly stop the music. <laughs> I, I'm going to uh, go inside. You're going to go inside? All right, as you guys make your way uh, close to the building, you immediately feel the warmth and the heat of the hearth. Um, and as you guys make your way in, you just hear laughter and just jaunty music, and you see humans. You see a couple dwarves, which is actually very strange for Tricadia. Um, and you see quite a few goliaths, actually. Huh. Like, like six or seven goliaths. Um, and Question. it's weird because it's like walking into a room of Doros's. Question, are they yes. attractive? Uh, roll a per perception check? Okay. Roll a I'm luck gonna check. Kinda, I'm going to do that as well. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, you're looking to see if there's one that's attractive too? <laughs> I mean, Goliath. I'm looking at okay. the Goliath specifically. I have a little bit of history with Goliaths. You do. You do have a history with Goliaths. Mm. Uh, Victor, there is one Goliath who definitely stands out. Uh, he is wearing like a cape that appears to be a giant wolf pelt that Ooh. almost reaches the floor. And he's about eight feet tall. He, he's actually almost, I, he's actually, I'd say he's slightly shorter than Doros. But, but it is more bulky. Doros is kind of like tall, lanky. This guy is like, like, Wide shoulders. Pulse belt. 
Kinda, yeah. Um, and he is currently like like reclining on a chair, and he's got two women on either side of him, and he's just kind of drinking his little red face at the moment. Um, the remaining of the most of the Goliaths are male. Um, there is is like to you think a female one it's hard to tell because they don't have hair um who appears to be kind of dealing in the paperwork she seems to be talking with the bartender and is kind of like making sure their their rooms are prepared as to what she wants and uh, is asking about like a a mission that they're on it appears that they are like a mercenary company probably easily considering what you guys went through easily bodyguards um, considering their size and stature. All of them are loaded and armed to the teeth with silvered weapons, um, and they just are kind of, appear to be all just kind of on their own, don't really want to be bothered, but they are present there. And you see a lot of humans, um, most of which are absolutely smashed, um, and you do see a gentleman <laughs> sitting at the counter wearing a set of armor. Oh, what color? white with silver armor, very battered, dented, you even see like scrape marks where after your experience with the werewolves you can see the similarities there it appears to be a giant gash mark striking across not through the metal but definitely enough to do some damage uh, and you do see that they have white hair and they're currently facing the bartender silver oh, armor is uh, that what we were looking for real does does, does does he have white facial hair you do not see his face as he's his, his back is to you real i will move up to the bar I assume with his okay, white okay, 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 he also has borky is there is there like a dark corner or is there an unoccupied corner in here? Uh, there are no rogues in your party, so yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> nice. so, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. It's mm. a joke. Uh, mm, Bork, mm, Borky's mm. gonna go into like one of those, like a, a booth in the corner and just sit down. I, I forgot to put the I put the word edge. I forgot to put the word edgy before rogue. I'm sorry, Greckles. Mm, I I also did that. No, you need you need to apologize to Joe Cat. <laughs> now, no matter what, you guys have to play Gwent with him next. <laughs> sorry, uh, what was Borky doing? I kind of zoned. Borky's Borky's just gonna go find a booth in the corner and just hide. All right. Uh, I, the in the corner. Task, can we can we wingman it just because I'm the only human looking person here? Sure. Of us. Okay. What? Uh. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm looking at looking. Rat is chopped liver apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't know how long this guy's rap sheet is. <laughs> it didn't go even. well last time. But up ba 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 ba. Let's go. You you two, <laughs> you two you two chuckleheads, come on, let's go. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so Greckle's uh, task and Rat are gonna go to the counter, and then Panic. Are you gonna join them or? Uh, I probably should probably uh, go join them. Yeah. Okay. As you guys approach the gentleman with the armor, how do you how do you approach him? Uh, I'm what I'm gonna. I, I was actually gonna go to the bartender. I have I have a thing. I have an idea. Okay. So you sit down in the the counter next to him. Oh, excuse me, sir. Uh, Griffith Raven. Uh. Sorry, I, I won't take up much of your time. I'm actually looking for someone. Me? I'm sorry, where did that what? come from? Oh, from shit, it's from the, bar, from the bartender, he just kind of looks at him. He looks like, like maybe like a like a 20-year-old kid, but like kind of like a meathead. <laughs> huh. Kinda looking for me? Uh, no, my, my, my young lad. Uh, I am looking for one uh, pilchard. He watches the body shifts and turns around. You hear the sounds of tankards hitting the floor as you see this man. Oh boy! We get art. Yeah, we I, get art. 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 I wanted. Art. I wanted to make sure it was actually him. Yeah. Nice. Oh. <laughs> what a lad. What? Oh, oh. What is that embroidered on the uh, the left side of his ch uh, of, of his chest? Well, knowledge, religion. Oh yes, ma'am. I shall. Oh, also, it's a lion, just, so please. I'm assuming it's. Uh, I will. I will describe it to you. You see, a uh, old man, maybe 50s, 60s, wearing a very old set of of armor, uh, scratched. Uh, like obviously has not been cared for at all. Uh, he has two weapons at his side, uh, and he is just he. The moment he turns and breathes on you, you are just hit with this wave of alcohol. Uh, with 13 religion, it's a lion. I mean, like, there's not yeah. uncommon to have lion on armor, as lions are fierce beasts. So, mm -hmm. we also I wasn't, I wasn't we sure also... if it was a, wasn't sure if it was a certain lion or not. Mm. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck is asking? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, hello, hello, sir. Uh, Pilchard, I presume. Another drink. He points to the bartender, and the bartender goes, "Oh, what?" He kind of disappears. Uh, on us. 
kind of looks to you, Pan, and goes, What do you want? Well, well speak up, we then. What do you want? I thought Dr. Weird Greckles was going to chime in, but okay. <laughs> no, no, no. You, I, I thought you were going to take the wheel. You do have the better charisma. Well, sir, uh, Mr. Pilch, um, we are actually here. We're from Alabat. And we would, if you would like, uh, we would like you to come with us. No, and fuck off. He turns over back to his seat, and then the bartender uh, drops the tankard in front of him, and he takes it and just starts... Greckles will pre... <laughs> Let me do a... Per I'd like to do a perception check on that really quick to see what kind of... If that was like a somber or like an... Insight. That would be an insight. Oh, not I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, pardon me. Remember I, got, remember, I got the manticles. Well, that's an at 20 anyway. Wait. That is a fuck off. I don't want to deal with you. Go away. I'm going to lean in. Very dismissive. Oi, panic. What's the deal with this guy? Mm. Well, he's drunk for a first. Shut mm. up. I'm not drunk. Not enough yet. Hmm. Oh, I see. So, so, uh, hmm. Must not be getting a lot of good sleep with those visions. Not a you. Who the fuck are you? He kind of huh. stiffens in his seat and sways a bit. Huh? Who the fuck are you? You one of Solar's things, huh? Come outside and we can talk. Oh, fuck off. You go pray Sir. to that angel fuck. I'm staying inside and I'm drinking. Sir, I suggest you come outside and talk. Ooh. I'm going to cast Suggestion. Uh -oh. Thank you. Oh, shit. Okay. That is a lot of text. <laughs> uh, That's a book. Right. He does have a pretty decent Winston. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, he does. That's going to be a 21. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah, please. I suggest <laughs> you take your magic and you stick it up your ass. I'm oh, done yeah. with Orin. I'm done with Solar. I'm done with it all. I, uh, I'm going to ask for a drink as well. Um, for yourself or for him? For myself. <laughs> and I want to take a seat next to him. Okay, you sit down next to him. And uh, I just uh, take a sip and uh, rough time. He kind of leans over. He goes, the, what, you're like 12 years old. What the fuck are you doing drinking? <laughs> well, well. He kind of leans over. Oh, you're one of those elf bastards. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> baby, uh, turtle baby face, that one. I'm, yeah. I'm oh, flattered. Shit. You know... Uh, another I... one! He slams a tanker down. Hmm. Me as well. I asked for another drink as well. <laughs> You're not even finished your first one. Yeah, no. Like, oh, <laughs> Just oh, order. Well. Leaves. Double fisting. And I want to I wanna try and keep up with him. Edward Forty Hands. <laughs> um, Panic, you hear a tiny little whisper in Greco's voice. Shoot away from the pass out and put the manacles on him? <laughs> Oh boy, in the middle of a bar. So who sent you, huh? Was it was it Solar or was it the Orange Clergy? Who was it, huh? It was <clears throat> It was actually a one girl, actually. What girl? Oh, but you don't want to talk, you don't want anything to do with us. Oh fuck off, you big bastard! Do you want to talk or not? Tell me who sent you and I'll decide. Her name is Solly. Soliandris. He used to belong to the United Clergy of Orin. And then she quite violently defected. She's now on the Alabas City Council. Does a 19 hit you, Panic? Yeah. You get punched in the face. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this is going to cause a chain reaction. Oh, great. no! Uh -oh. Oh, good. You get punched in the face for five points of damage. Uh, your nose is bleeding, and you immediately fall over and crash into the lap of that giant Goliath gentleman I described earlier. Bar fight! Oh boy, here, here he gets go. up and grabs you and throws you and erupts into a bar fight, and that is where we're going to end the section for Yeah! Oh, wow. Okay. 
Borky, Borky, that's I, just, Bork, Borky cracks his knuckles, looks at his unarmed Actually, brother. fuck, we're early, we can fight. Never mind, we're not done. All right, uh -oh. can we play the I, One yeah. Piece battle music? Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's grab some battle music. Everybody roll initiative. We're about to bar fight, lads. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll just curl my finger then. <laughs> that's fucked. Sorry, you guys didn't stop your recording, did you? No. 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 Not 20 no, yet again! Eight. Perfect, good. I looked down, You're I thought it was 13. Oh You're good. I'm trying Eight. to find, I, have, I want to find appropriate battle music. No, that's not good. I need some. I need something stupid. We need some Benny Hill <laughs> shit in here. Uh, does it loop automatically? Yeah. Uh... Just look up the Pandaren Tavern theme from World of Warcraft. All I can imagine, all I can imagine is that fucking bar fight scene in d and is it loud? Sorry. A little bit, little, just a little bit. There we go. There we go. That good? That's, That's perfect. Good. All right. Bar fight, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> we might go a little tonight, but who cares? It'll be fun. Chaos erupts in the tavern. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we have Greckles. Uh, Victor, Rad. By so the way, for this, you can't see your target. You are attacking random people because it is just a mosh <laughs> pit of violence right now. There we go. Panic. Okay. Um, and then Borky. And then Task. Uh, I can't wait for that long rest. Uh, ooh, Pilchard rolled really high too. Uh, Victor, what's your dexterity? My dexterity is 15. So plus two? Yeah, plus two. Oh yeah, you definitely beat him out then. All right, perfect. And then I have to roll for the entire contents of the bar. <laughs> and I'm gonna give them advantage because why not? Okay. I just, uh, is okay. it wrong that I just, um, like just when he lands, when Panic lands on the big Goliath, just knocks over his drink. It was a fine, I, it was a fine little martini. <sighs> I put, <laughs> grabs you I by the feet my hand and the hair and just. All right. <laughs> I put my hand on his as... breastplate and I say, hey. <sighs> Uh, Greckles, as you look around and erupt, immediately uh, a bar fight uh, bursts out. Um, one of the Goliaths grabs a chair and tries to throw it at you. Uh, <laughs> I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw to me, for me. Oh, Jesus, okay. Uh, hmm. Where's my dex? There it is. That is a 24. Nice. You deflect the the vent the uh, the chair and it crashes into the side of the wall, uh, exploding into splinters. It is your turn. For this, you cannot attack people. Assumedly, I'm assuming you guys are not going to want to do that. No. Um, um. Question: Who did? Who, who has the manacles? Like, who did? So, that did was so, me. That's why I'm kind it. of a little fucking like. I was just like, <laughs> oh, okay. Let's get in. Let's go. Okay. No worries. Let's get into it. Let's get into this, guys. All right. I mean, all if right. we arrested him, it would probably lead to the same result. You have a Maybe. big Goliath guy in front of you, Greckles, blocking your path. Uh, that's fine. I will cast, uh, oh, I will, uh, hang on a second. Uh, you'll see, you'll see Greckles, uh, kind of lean over and curl up on the ground and just disappear. Cast All invisibility. Right. You turn invisible and the Goliath's like, huh, huh, kind of looking around side to side with another chair in his other arm. So, I don't... <laughs> For whatever movement or actions it takes, I'm going to try and get Task and try to manacle this other guy. Okay. Uh, However many turns that may require. Okay, you you will disappear on your turn. It's mm. very fast paced. This fight. This is all just absolute chaos. Yeah, it's so it's yeah, not yeah. like normal. It's not like normal combat. You kind of just have sure. one thing you can do per round. You can't That's do like fine. two things per round. You have to choose one thing you do. That is absolutely Rat. fine. Rad, it is now your turn as you watch as one of the Goliaths reaches over and grabs you by the cuff of your shirt and brings you into headbutt. You need to make a constitution saving throw for me oh, as you're getting uh -oh. headbutted. Uh, okay, then not bad. All right, <laughs> you, you get grabbed and the, the Goliath brings down his forehead onto yours. It's almost like like hitting like stone straight on. You're, you see stars and your eyes kind of spin as he drops you and rears back for a punch. What are you doing? Uh, If, if our heads get close enough, uh, I want to give him a kiss on the cheek and a wink. Okay. Oh, I love you. Roll, roll a charisma check. <laughs> oh, twelve. Oh, that's not so great. Oh, oh, but he rolled very low. <laughs> you, he goes in for another head, but you kind of like slide and just mwah, give him a cheek. He kind of freezes up, and you just run up his shoulder and jump off of him. <laughs> Hello, muscles. <laughs> All right, Pilchard's turn. Uh, he's very drunk. 
Uh, Greckles, you see as he stumbles away underneath, like kind of baby crawling underneath a table, uh, it appears he's trying to make his way to the door. Uh, Panic, it is now your turn. All right, I'm going to- We're on the lap of the Goliath still. (laughs) Mm. Put your arms around his neck. I'm not sure if this is a really good idea or a really bad idea. (laughs) I'm going to look up and be like, uh, hey, what's your name? (laughs) Roll a charisma check. Uh, This isn't what I want to do. I'm just asking him his name. Uh, Jesus Christ, I don't have a name for this This is the worst Um... fight ever. Everyone's falling in love. (laughs) (laughs) The the orc barbarian's like, let me in. Let me in. (laughs) Stone Grimace. And he kind of grabs you by the cuff. Stone Grimace. Uh, uh, Could I make a suggestion? Could you uh, escort me to the door, please, and protect me while I'm there? I'm going to cast Suggestion again. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Natural one. Yes! All right. Hey. So I got the biggest, <laughs> meanest guy in the whole club, and I'm on his shoulders. He's just fighting people as I'm going to the door. All right. That ends Panic's turn. It's now everybody else in the bar's turn. Oh, no. Uh, the Goliaths immediately descend uh, upon you guys, all of them just screaming. And in, in, who speaks giant here? Does anybody speak oh, giant? Gorky guys, because he's making his way over there. All of them yell, <laughs> bar fight and giant. Um. The female Goliath turns into a into a, a stag. She turns into like a deer. Oh, a druid! Yeah, and she starts knocking people around. Uh, oh, her antlers go for you, uh, uh, Greckles, as she's kind of trampling around. I'm invisible! It doesn't matter, it's chaos. Ah! She's, she's running around the place. <laughs> You're caught in the crossfire. Glasses, glasses are falling down and crashing around you. Tankers have bopped you on the head. Uh, I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw as her hooves come down as she's she's currently attacking some of the dwarves now that are both of the dwarves are like sitting on her antlers and like punching her in the face. <laughs> okay, <laughs> here we go. That's nine. The, the hooves come down and hit you right in the chest and you Ooh. feel breath erupt from you as your uh. invisibility drops. She swings her arms around. Uh, your gentleman friend, Panic, uh, just kind of plows people aside, just shoves them aside as he brings you towards the door. Um, another Goliath Bork, he sees you run an approach and he gets down on one leg and he kind of like football, like swings under your legs. I need you to make a, uh, acrobatics check for me as you are swept off your feet. Acrobatics, uh, say, uh, check? Just acrobatics check. Yeah. <laughs> I love this Four. music, by the way. You swing and you crash down into the ground, your chin hitting, hitting the brick. You almost feel your, one of your teeth chip as you crash to the ground and you, you stumble back up to your feet. Uh, Tass, one of the Goliaths grabs you by the ears, is going to attempt to grab you by the ears. I need you to roll a acrobatics check for me. Hold on, fucker. 19. 14. Nope. Oh, one of the Goliaths grabs you by the ear thinking you're a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> and he swings over and he like beats the shit out of a human dude. Like hits a human Tass dude across the over head his with forehead. you. <laughs> uh, but, then, but then you, I'm assuming you have a dagger on you, right? I was going to use my whip. Yeah, sure enough, yeah. Uh, you just kind of swing out of his hand and he goes, huh, and like looks at you as this human's knocked out cold. Uh, another, the, the bartender grabs you and puts you in a headlock, or attempts to put you in a headlock, rat, as you are still by the bar. I need to roll an acrobatics check for me again. Acrobatics. Whoa. 13. 13? Wacky. You manage to like pull yourself forward and you manage to pull the bartender over and he lands flat on his back past the bar counter and you kind of take off running. Uh, gonna, Borky, it is, Borky, it is now your turn. Yeah. Sorry, you're gonna? Oh, I was just gonna uh, just take a quick selection of whatever's behind the bar and take a sip before I do. Excellent. Well, you can do that on your turn. You can do that on your turn. There always oh, okay, seems to cool. be one guy who does that in a bar fight. It's important that you've done this. Uh, Borky just, can Borky get up and crack his neck and just, and grab a chair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to hit someone over the head with a chair. The guy who just hit me, Borky just cracks his neck, grabs you. Oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> and Porky, right. Porky's gonna swing that chair because he's a tavern brawler. What, what, what do I do? Nice. What do I roll? So you are you are proficient with improvised weapons. So you add your strength bonus, which I believe is plus five. Plus four. It's plus four. So plus four plus three. So you have a plus seven to hit Whoa. with an improvised weapon. So roll a d20 Christ. plus seven <laughs> for your chair. 
should be easy enough. These guys are not wearing armor. They're if you don't, relaxing. if you don't atomic boat. Natural oh twenty. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. Get <laughs> you, you take a running jump off of the table and you bring down the chair and you smash it over the Goliath's face. He crashes to the ground. You go over and you pin him down. And the two dwarves, like, as the as the stake is bucking. The head comes down and the two, two doors go, one, two, three, he's out! And before they get pulled up by the same druid and get tossed around. <laughs> oh, extremely Bork, orky. Bork, Borky's in the middle. Ah! 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 Bork is ready to go more. <laughs> task, uh, task, it is now your turn. That's awesome. I'm so happy. I'm so I happy. wanted to get out of this guy. I'm, I'm trying to make he's my best. He still got you by the ears. He's yeah. just like, oh, you just notice that you're a living thing. Put me down. Say that in character. I, I I I look at him with like a Renhoic face when he's just like looking at the camera angrily. Put me the fuck down now. Roll a pers uh, roll an intimidation check. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh. Oh, God, okay. that was scary. The Goliath looks and goes, "I am so sorry." He just gently <laughs> puts it down on the table. I run after our target. All right, you go running after him. Uh, you, 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 with your squirmy ability, you're able to weave and duck between the Goliath legs. Uh, as you see, uh, your, your quarry currently crawling under a table. Fuck you! I'm using my Roper Whip, and I'm going to, in I'm going to enact a daring strike. To get the Goliath off of you, that would take your turn in the, oh, in the tavern brawl. Yeah. No, I wasn't, oh wait, the Goliath? I thought I was going for... Not not the Goliath, the fucking... No, like... no, in, in the tavern brawl, it's not like a normal combat. You get one thing to do, and your intimidation to get the Goliath off of you, to drop you, was, was, was your, was one? your, was your one thing. thing that you oh, okay, then on my yeah, next yeah. turn, I'm going straight for what's-his-face. Yeah. All right, Greckles, your invisibility has failed. There's currently a giant deer above you slamming dwarves around. There's Goliath <laughs> screaming everywhere, and there's currently a halfling swinging on the chandelier. Legs just screaming, <laughs> yeah! Oh, chandelier. All right, so question. Oh, I don't know if this will help. The mobile feat allows me to have no decrease in speed while dashing through bad terrain. I don't know if this is extra bad terrain. This so is like people. Like, you can't move through bodies unless, like, with, with... It's it's a very strange circumstance, so technically a lot of combat things aren't really going to play in here. Okay, um, gotcha. Um, no, I'll just... I, I'll, I'll use my 80-foot dash to just try and get over people, and if I, if I would... If it's possible to do like acrobatics checks to either like slide underneath or jump over people, roll, things roll like that. Roll an acrobatics check, I would say, yeah. Okay, let's give it a shot. <laughs> that is a nice. four. You run up the side of the wall, you leap off the wall, you grab onto the chandelier and swing. The halfling drops ah, and slams into a Goliath. <laughs> as you, you, you rock back and forth and you eventually land on top of the table that Pilchard is currently still like just getting out of as you land on top of it. Awesome. Okay, cool, I'm good. Rat, it is your turn. The bartender has been thrown. Okay, so seeing as uh, Greckles is heading straight for Pilchard, I am going to cast Hold Person on him uh, at oh. third level. Oh! Wait, no. Uh, oh, that's it additional. Never mind. It uh, gives you additional yeah. targets. And I see. To save, I'm so. just going to hold Pilchard so he has to make a wisdom save. Ooh, even with his really good wisdom, that is only going to be a 14. Oh, wait, no. Sorry, 12. 12. Yeah, my minus 14. So... Get him, Greckles! He's completely frozen up. Yep. All right. Uh, that brings us to his turn. He gets to repeat a saving throw, right? Uh, yeah. uh, the target can make yes. another wisdom saving throw, Marie. At the end All of right. his turn. Yeah. He can't move, but he has to make the saving throw. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be... That's going to be a 15, then. I think that yeah. passes. It was a yeah, 14. It does. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. He shakes it off, but that he can't move, and currently Greckles is above him. Uh, that brings us to Panic. You are currently being delightfully escorted, like like Princess Bride style, like you're being held in his arms. Yeah, I just got one leg crossed over the other, my hands behind my head. <laughs> uh, As do, you I are... see, do I see Pilchard at all? Oh, no, you don't. You are so far from where they are at the moment. But there is a path cleared to the door now. Uh, it gets filled in every time he goes by, though. Like the moment there's free space, that becomes battle space. The best way of describing it, I think he's he's moto motoing through this crowd. Yeah, <laughs> he is. I like him big. Uh, okay. mm, what do I do in this situation? Um. <laughs> uh, 
no. Can I see my comrades? Uh, you cannot. There, you see, you see like little little pieces of them occasionally swinging through chandeliers and crashing onto things. Add more chaos. <laughs> <laughs> more. I think each Goliath accounts for about five chaos. I think we're good. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, they're there's, huge. There's still a good couple dozen people brawling right now. <laughs> there's about like 32 people brawling inside of this tavern right now. Fuck. Ah, uh, shit. What do I do? Um. So I can't. I can't. I can't see. I can't. I can't see any what of do you, my What do you want to try to do? Tell me what I you want to try to I want to try to use Mantle of Inspiration to give my comrades more movement. I'm going to say for this, no, you do not see them well enough to give them that. Beans! By the way, you guys still haven't used the inspiration you were given the first time. I mean, it's, 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 it's gone now. Point, yeah. It's yeah, gone now. I know. But... Uh... Okay, I'm... Can I stand on the on my Goliath's shoulders? Sure, yeah. And I'm going to thaumaturgy my my voice, uh, and I'm going to say, "Hey!" I'm going to try to get Pilchard's attention. I'm going to say, "Hey, everybody! Pilchard is a big fuckhead." <laughs> <laughs> Roll insult damage. <laughs> I don't know. You 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 scream it out, I'm... and the bartender goes, "Ah!" Oh! Just yells. <laughs> That I, one, I'm, I, 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 the, the point of that was I was going to try to get Pilcher's attention to get him to come towards the door. He does turn and look as he's kind of shaking off the spell, and he just looks very confused. And then I, I flip him the, I flip him the bird when he looks my way. <laughs> come here, you okay. piece of shit. Uh, that ends your turn. It is now all the Goliath's turn. Oh there boy. We go. Uh, your Goliath gently lets you down, panic, in front of the door. <laughs> Thank you. Cracks his knuckles and immediately jumps into the fray. <laughs> like, dolphin dives into the fray. Um, Task is, as you are running, a, uh, a gnome comes out. <laughs> rip, I, rip, I will... Whips off his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, a tattoo. Go, yeah, he's got a tattoo, like, I love mom tattoo on him. <laughs> Does he crack and the knucks? Does he crack he the nuts? He tries to body check you, like full on, like barrel in and body check you to the ground. I need you to make an acrobatics or athletics check of your choice. I want, I I have, want him to knock him around. Come on! I have proficiency in athletics, apparently, so. Here I go. Uh, wait, no, my dexterity is higher, but I don't get the proficiency bonus, so I might as well do athletics. Oh, God. My heart. 14? <laughs> You, he literally is like running at you and you just take one step to the side and he just crashes into the armor of a Goliath. I hold my arm out gone. to cross. I, I, I fucking hold my arm out to cross check him as he's running by. Close line him. <laughs> I close line him. <laughs> With effort, effortlessly. He flies across the room and you just all hear this gentle gonging noise as you guys are still fighting. Um, one of the, uh, one of the Goliaths, uh, kind of who's been like punched to the ground gets up and sees you, Rat, and grabs your hat and pulls it down on you. I need you to make a strength saving throw. Okie dokie. This is dumb and I love it. Hey, dirty nice. 20. Nice. You grab the brim of your hat and he's like trying to pull it down on you. He managed to hold it up as this Goliath is like just struggling with you. You are currently neck and neck with this Goliath. <laughs> uh, uh, not the hat. Freckles, one of the uh, halflings who was playing darts, in the corner of the room, now looks onto the chaos and sees you and sees a juicy dart target. Oh, bring it on, bitch! <laughs> what do I got to... Uh, is it attack or a dart? Uh, yeah, for this is an attack. It doesn't do damage, but it's right. just to flavor to hit it. Sure. Uh, does a 15 hit you? Uh, 15 is my armor class. Oh, you get hit right in the butt cheek with a dart. <laughs> <laughs> And you like, jump like 20 feet in the air and crash into the chandelier and crash down on the table, which then cracks and collapses. Oh my kind god! Of squirming out of it. Is he, is he like pinned? Uh, no, he's, he's he's slipping out of it, but it's like the, the table's collapsed at this point, so you're not up above anymore. Gotcha. Oh god. So much property damage. Right? Uh, now. Now it is, uh, you panic, you're at the door, you're good. Um, Borky, Wait, the leader turn? of the Goliaths jumps in 
uh, sees you and you're pinning and immediately like rips off like his his wolf pelt cloak. <laughs> Can Borky do it at the same? And just charges you. Yeah. He's gonna try and just body slam you to the ground. I need you all an athletics check for me. All righty, here we go. And that is 16. You get body checked to the ground, he had a 25. As he shoulder checks you into the ground, the flooring cracks and breaks as all the glides go, ooh, in unison. Oh, as like now a circle is forming around the two of you. You fall into uh, the, you fall into the floor and notice wait. the bar's own, own scarbles now. Mo Monty, was that my turn? Uh, you're in safety, so no one's gonna try and fuck with you anymore. So but I have I have my thaumaturgy on. I wanted to do something. Yeah, that was your turn. You did that on your turn. This is the Goliath's turn. Like they're attacking people right now. Oh, she's saying, she's she's saying no one's attacking you. I thought you no said it was Borky's you. turn. Yeah, no, no, Borky. It's Borky's turn to be attacked. So it's uh, not so you said the crowd. So that was everyone, a... everyone is a target in this fight. No one is innocent. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, except me. Um, at this point, the two dwarves have pinned down the stag and have tied it to uh, to the counter. It's like kicking <laughs> around and crazy. Uh, and both the, the, the dwarves like clasp their hands together and bring down an elbow drop on the deer's neck. And he watches it shift oh. back into the human body of the Goliath and she's face down on the ground. Uh, the halfling who was swinging on the chandelier, who was knocked off, is currently riding on the shoulders of one of the Goliath, and is currently like fighting another halfling riding on the shoulders <laughs> of another Goliath. And both of the Goliaths are fighting <laughs> each other. It's <laughs> uh, you notice one human guy just walking out with like five barrels of wine. It's just like, doo -doo 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 -doo, just leaving the little thing. I like to think he's Russian dancing on the bar top across while he's drinking. <laughs> the uh, the musicians who are playing have amped up the music. It's just, it's absolute chaos. Uh, Borky, it is now your turn. Borky, so that guy ripped off his shirt. Yeah, they're, Bork he's like, you guys are like in a circle now. You guys are in like the Borky circle, and, and it's currently like Borky in one movement rips off the top of his shirt. Okay. <laughs> and Borky just literally, Borky goes. <laughs> what? Oh man, Borky is gonna suplex. Are you gonna suplex? Borky is gonna try and go for a belly to belly suplex, which is where you hug a guy and you jump in the air and slam him down into the ground. Okay, roll an athletics check for me. Borky just roars ah! right right at the guy. Twenty four. Seven. Seven for him. You grab him and you suplex him into the ground. The entire place shakes and bottles fall off the shelves and shatter. You see the chandelier now kind of is like hanging by a thread in the middle of the room. Task, it is now your turn. I, I'm going to get within enough range that I could use the roper whip to hit this motherfucker under the table. All right, roll the hit. Uh, this is for subdued damage, by the way, and also yeah. I'm proccing. Uh... Damage, damage is not occurring during this bar fight. Okay, cool. I am also enacting and snaring strike. Okay. Ooh. Sixteen. Ooh, okay. Sixteen does not hit, unfortunately. He is wearing full plate mail. Yeah. He brings up a shield and clang ricochets it back off. Uh, as you as you go to whip and you go to swing back, you smack one of the Goliaths who at this point is just trying to save his drink. You smack the drink out of his hand. He's so carefully tried to protect. He's like, and kind of turns and looks towards you. Uh, Greckles, it is now your turn. You're kind of like sliding on the on the table that is broken. Um, how big is this table? This matters. Uh, I can fit about four people. If you give me a foot dimension. Uh, probably like like four feet across by four feet I across. Will, I, I will scatter uh, Caltrop. Oh shit. Oh so no. If he, if, he, if he gets out, if he gets out, he's gonna have to go over that. All right, Caltrops have been thrown down to the ground. This just makes uh, us more dangerous. Brings us back, this brings us back to Rat. Oh, uh, well, I was gonna plan on sleeping him, but I guess that works too. Uh, no, 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 well, I mean, It'll just slow him down a little bit. That's true. That's true. Uh, yeah, I'll try sleeping him. Okay, roll sleep. Sleep at third level. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, no one falls 47. asleep. Forty-seven. There's so many targets in here that no one oh, falls asleep. Oh god, I can't and even they're, focus. They're Goliaths. They have huge health. Right. Goals. Right. You know that makes sense. It's like, huh? Yeah. Well then. You throw up to sleep, and like the guy that Borky's fighting, as he's kind of grinding, goes. Ugh. <laughs> Don't you dare insult me! <laughs> uh, that brings us to Pilchard. 
Seeing panic at the entrance, he's gonna go for a back entrance, but he's gotta go through your caltrops. It's a DC 15 deck save. Ow. He is not dexterous. He takes the damage as he runs through all the caltrops right. singing to him. All right, he so. Runs. Uh. It's not your turn. That's Pilcher. He's running for the door. No, no, I'm trying to read off the effects. Uh, just so we're. It's... Uh, deck saving throw or stop moving and take one point of piercing damage until oh, the creature he stops regains. Moving. Until the creature regains at least one hit point, its walking speed is reduced by 10 feet. Sorry, I just want to get that out there. Okay, so reduced by 10 feet, but he he, he can't move? He's stuck there? If he fails, I mean, I right? Think I think it's a dexterity saving throw or stop moving. Oh. So, so I think I think he's just got reduced speed now. Okay. He gets up and he hobbles towards the back door where the guy with the wine is escaping. Uh, that ends his turn. Panic, he watches your quarry, sees you, and is now going in the opposite direction. <laughs> <clears throat> Fair ladies and gentlemen of this fine tavern, <clears throat> Who, whosoever brings me the man known as Pilchard, wearing armor and has white hair and facial hair, has his drinks paid for for the evening. Ooh, roll a persuasion oh. check. Oh boy, nice. that's a high order. In the middle of it, I just wanted someone to hit him with a bottle. <laughs> 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 Here's your free no, drink. No, no, no. Oh! 17. Everyone immediately stops and turns towards Pilcher. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that ends Panic's turn. You watch as everyone who is fighting everybody else, except for the wine guy, and the gnome <laughs> who is perfectly unconscious right now, and the stag that has been tied, well, the Goliath now that's been tied to the bar counter. Uh, you watch as all of them, like, like football-style dog pile on top of Pilcher. <laughs> um, like seven goliaths like 20 humans and then that like another gnome like climbs to the top and puts a little flag on top uh, <laughs> and as you guys are all smiling and cheering you hear the sound of clanging metal as the front doors are thrown open and you see about 10 avon guards so, so does rushing. panic get like flung aside yakuza style you literally like you're standing there and you slowly turn <laughs> around and staring down at you as a human man who appears to be the captain and that is where we're going to end the session for right. There we Good go. Remember, guys, remember, oh. guys we, got, we got paper. We got paperwork. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh be, oh, And then Morky oh, runs up with a chair and hits the captain of the guard. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody stopped at this point. Borky just goes, ah! <laughs> All right. And it goes onto the streets. You. The whole street, the whole town oh, starts yeah. brawling. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Did anybody nowhere, get the number on that donkey couch? I'm glad we had enough time. I looked at I I looked at the clock and I was like, I don't think we're having enough time. I'm like, no, no, we're good, we're good. We can totally do it. Oh, what episode was this? Eighty four. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Monty, oh, that was amazing. I'm so happy. That was so uh, great. It was. Yeah, yeah. That was oh, seriously man, that, was a... that was fantastic. You you did you, that was amazing. I'm so happy. Went that was harrowing. Hurts. Went from a harrowing fight to the best thing ever. That was that that was my first bar fight in like 15 years of playing this game. I was I was half. I, I'm I, sorry, Zeno clotheslining the gnome was the fucking best <laughs> thing. That's my highlight. Because I just imagine just chaos and the gnome's just running at you like frothing at the mouth. And you just reach open your your arm and it just like clang and then just I like dies. that it's just completely like he doesn't he doesn't even brace himself. Just like lift an arm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Come this... on, my god. Uh. <laughs> this is oh um, my god. This was so much fun. Yo, Joe Cat, thank you once again for joining us for this session. Oh, man, dude. thanks Where... for having me again. Where can they find you, dude? You can find me uh at youtube.com slash Joe Cat, uh twitch.tv slash Joe Cat, where I stream every Saturday. Uh and uh on Twitter at Joe Cat. 105 as well as uh, my group friends channel which we're still making content for i promise called hijack h-i-j-e-k on youtube as well awesome dude thank you so much yes oh, this is so fun this... thanks for having me oh of course man uh goomba where can they find you dude yes you can find me at twitch.tv slash uh gaiju but no h just the a um Trying to bring back freaking Culture Shock Livewire because I had a good time doing that. Um, if you want to come learn about uh, cultural inspirations from your favorite games and anime, that's where you can find my content. You can also find me on YouTube under the same name. Only um, God, tomorrow 
I sure as shit am going to be playing Katana Zero because I didn't oh, know it was yeah. that early. So we're going to be do that. Maybe maybe Rise and Root with uh, Zito and Connor. Work that out. Possibly Persona Five. Possibly Enter the Gungeon. Going to be a good time this weekend. Ooh. Yeah. Monty, where can they find you, and what do you got going on tomorrow? Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Tomorrow, I destroyed my voice. Tomorrow is going to be the 12-hour charity stream. So starting at 10 a.m. tomorrow, I'm going to be streaming for 12 hours. Uh, we're going to start off with the Stanley Parable, uh, lead into Helga Skyrim, uh, and then uh, Portal 2 with Bosco, and then we're going to end it off with Gang Beasts and Stick Fighter. Uh, the rematch of the century, Monty versus Gaijin. The winner will be Monty. Um, <laughs> so True. all all donations, all bit donations that day will go to the charity. Uh, subs, unfortunately, won't. Uh, but bit donations will go to the charity. So I do have some milestone stuff. I have a bunch of different things that could happen in the night. Uh, I have hot peppers. I have a really bad romance novel. It's, you know, it's going to be great. Awesome. Uh, by the way, before we go through more of the... Uh, a wrapping up of the show. The chat is screaming at me right now for the title. Yeah. Name. Bard Room Blitz. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, that's the, yes. That's the sure. episode's Bard Room Blitz. It's <laughs> Bard Room Blitz. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I just, just I love how Panic's like <laughs> fools. <laughs> yeah. The only way to lose, the only way to win is not play. Uh, speaking of <laughs> the, speaking of the wonderful Connor. Connor, where can they find you? Well, they can find me on Twitter at Senile Snake. And they can find me on Twitch at Distortion Devil, where on Friday we'll be doing some Friday Fun House where we play a bunch of fun random games with a bunch of fun random friends. And Saturday and Sunday are my Witcher 3 streams. And on Tuesdays, you can check out RIW, Roll Initiative Wrestling, my WWE 2K19 D&D uh, &D themed wrestling show. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Hey, Zito, where can they find you? Well, hi, hi, ho, ho, hi. <laughs> you can find me at twitch.tv slash Zito. Uh, well, tomorrow, uh, it's either going to be Play Smash Online, since I'm now actually able to fucking download the new update, so I think everyone else can at the point. Gun. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm downloading Gun as we speak. Don't worry. Gun.exe will happen tomorrow. Can't wait to play Smash Brothers I love on that McDonald's Wi Fi. What happened? I love Gun Teenager. Oh yeah, Gun Teenager's the best. Uh, tomorrow is either going to be Gun.exe on McDonald's Wi-Fi or uh, Katana Zero. Maybe both. Who knows? Uh, Friday, I don't know what's going to happen, considering I might be on uh, TFS that day. But probably some indie games, probably some other dumb stuff. We'll find out. However, this weekend, I will be doing art commissions and... Uh, make sure you check around uh, my Twitter, which is uh, CZ Backlash. Uh, I will be getting back into the account of Unbefitting Hellspawn, and I might be putting out some playtest stuff for people to check out. Awesome, dude. Uh, and you can find me here at twitch.tv slash Takahata101. We'll have more MNW, Multiverse Nexus Wrestling, tomorrow night. One of the characters has already been sent to jail. Pretty much we're playing with dodgeball rules right now in the, in the multiversal inquisition arc and it is ooh, it's dramatic twists and turns heel turns face turns galore fun fun stuff let me tell you i'm enjoying the hell out of it uh busy but yeah aside from that nothing much really else to say i, I want to thank so many people right now here millions of a thousand miss every time we have to remind talk on the hit dice <laughs> <I know, right? laughs> uh, yeah all the freaking time and okay uh like dynamite dark ronin ice booth pupasa monkey Avion fan, thank you so much for all the bits. Defective sheet for the 500 bits. This gives me time to perform the cheese phase. And Grimless Prime, thank you for the 300 bits. Studio fan, thank you for the sub. I will say this, a lot of follows tonight. If this is your first time ever swinging by the Unexpectables, thank you so freaking much. This was be this was such a fun session. One of my favorite yeah, sessions. Mm -hmm. Seriously, like, so, like seriously, one of my favorite sessions so far here. Uh, you can check it out on Twitch.tv, uh, sorry, on YouTube... Uh, slash uh youtube slash takahata 101 we have all the vods up on there or you can check out our podcast version which is made by the wonderful austin we always thank at the end of every po <laughs> end of every show because he edits his <laughs> audio together and makes a pretty nice <laughs> show um aside from that that's all i really got here anything else anyone wants to plug uh just 
I guess just my thing tomorrow. That's about it. So hopefully yeah. I see people there. I said uh, my piece. Yeah. Uh, watch Yes Yes Love Adventure go here every Monday. Oh yeah, that's, that's fun. That's where, <laughs> that's where we play literally the worst things that are ever put on Steam. <laughs> Ro We've lost them. Uh, ma male power trip romance novels. Yes, exactly. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> it's a bit. And occasional drinking. Well, from you. Yeah, from you me. Drink, you drink sake. It's Where cultural. Yeah, it's 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 a learning it's a learning experience. We're currently yeah. on Nekopara Part Three. We uh. <gasps> oof, oof! It is the P. Oh man, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, every Monday morning, starting the week off fresh. Yeah. I assume I don't want to know. No, no, I, I'm, no, having, no, no. I'm having non flashbacks. Joe Cat, Joe right Cat, Joe Cat. Run, no. run. He's got cat in his He should show <laughs> up. No. I tr I tr no, I trust you. I trust you. I, 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 I think I'll sit it out. I'll be, I'll be good. Uh, all right, uh, who should we rate? Tonight? I got a couple options for rating tonight. I just have Octopimp on mine. I, I, we got ooh, Le Jake, uh, Storyteller's Apprentice. Uh, uh, we also have uh, Jack, though. Uh, I have I have Octo, Lythero, Scott Falco, this some guy named Takahata 101, Kraken, nah, nah, and Vine nah, Sauce nah. and Maximilian, dude. I'd like to raid a smaller streamer tonight. I'm going to raid one of, the, uh, one of the mods for the channel here. Oh, good. Uh, his name is LeJake. He was actually yeah. the first subscriber I ever had. Oh, uh, He's a nice, nice. guy. Oh. He really is. All right. No one say anything. Shh. It's hush. Shh. We'll see you next everyone, week for the unexpected. Everyone, everyone scream bar fight. Everyone scream bar fight when you get there. Yes. Everyone scream bar fight. He's going to freak out. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're sending over 500 people there. Go, Good. go, go, oh, go. Oh, 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 oh. Scream bar fight. Scream bar fight. Shh. Here we go. And here we go. Come on. And... Come on.